Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the What's Good podcast. Today, we have an absolute screamer, woo, because it's the charity match, you know, review it episode. It's, it's late. a huge week. <laughs> it's late. It's late because, um, just laziness, to be honest. Late, but well, well, also, like, yeah, laziness. Yeah, laziness. <laughs> the only day we could have filmed it was Sunday, but, like, who wants to do that? We're just all knackered. Yeah. I, I slept, I showed you right in the chat, nine hours, 33. Yeah. Asleep. I couldn't believe it. A new man. Yeah. But then, you know, the next few days it's been four, <laughs> three again, because I'm in London again. But um, actually, actually, uh, I slept here last night. Here? Yeah. For the first time. Why? Well, I, I, I couldn't, couldn't get a hotel room. Tried two hotels, couldn't get it. <laughs> See, you, all right, fair enough. Yeah. I'm on, I, a, I'm on a bit of a, a charity match depression right now come down yeah yeah it is awful because also you, you know you, you have like you have the match which is obviously goes really really well everyone's really excited everyone's happy afterwards you have the party everyone's you know gassed then you have the day after where it's like you know you're allowed to then chill you know i worked hard yesterday can ha relax you know yeah. just, just vegetate get some filthy food yeah yeah and then it's like okay i now start to watch all the videos from it and all the angles and everything and then that kind of runs out and then you realize you gotta work again yeah and like, <laughs> real life comes back and you're like damn it man so but yeah, what a week! Obviously, we're going to probably mo predominantly talk about the chat match in this episode. In this episode, um, did a little golf thing with Freezy that we can go into as well. Yeah. That was fun. Um, oh, and we've got a little, you know, the, the, the usual crappy John links to go through as well. <laughs> the uh, you know things to do. Uh, well, what well, thirty things to do under thirty? <laughs> oh, you missed this, Nick. He did a thirty under thirty list, and it was uh, for women in Australia. <laughs> I might have grabbed the wrong list. All right, it was. It was, it was, it was, it was like, no, it was to celebrate my thirty first. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this adds to the podcast, you know, it really does add to the podcast. There wasn't a list of 31-year-olds, 30, okay? Oh, one thing I want to do bring into the podcast. <laughs> yep. You know, not, not, not going to like this. Oh, God. I actually, it's, it, it's on the level of the book situation. <laughs> Here we go. I actually really enjoy how you do your socks, you know. It's very OCD. <laughs> <laughs> but in, in a it's good way. It's because when I do it, I, I do this. I pull them down like that. And yeah, like that. look at that. It's like a. It's like a. Because like, I don't want them all the way up. No, I, I feel again. This is not. A, and again, it's not an insult. Like, it's not an insult like the book one. You know that was. Personal. But it sounds like it. But I love how like it's 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 over the top, but it's perfect. You know, like you, the, the logo is showing. You know, it's got a little fold there. Love that. Whereas mine, as you can see, are just kind of like scrunched up. I've got some stains on mine. As well. well, I'm looking at John's right now because you're wearing. Are they Nike socks? They are. See, I can't tell. Oh, yeah. The logo. I, yeah. Where is the logo, I, I'm John? Not, I'm not sponsored. Would you? Neither wear... am I. Would yeah, you exactly. You're doing it for free. Hmm? Would you wear socks that big if they were you didn't have to fold them down? Or is that a weird length? That's a weird length. Because they they alter during the day. Mm. It's weird now. You're making me very self conscious about my socks. I just liked it. I was going to mention it before the podcast, but I was like, you know, I feel like I'm a, I'm a neat person. You know, yeah. I'm a neat guy. You are a neat guy. You know, you are. Oh, John's got a Nike hat as well, displaying the logo perfectly. Yeah, inside. weirdly sponsored and Nike shoes. It's a golf hat. Nike golf. Are oh. you sure you're not sponsored? I wish I was. Yeah, they even sponsor him. Yeah. Anyway, that, should you get into the game first? What? A, Nick oh, that's, has that's just bookies. showed his... Texas uh, a gas station. He's just showed his... You have that on your laptop as well. You really love that. I love it so much. Did, yeah. Your friends are here as well, right? Yeah, yeah. They bought me more stuff. More buttons. Oh, did things. they bring you these? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> Can't lie. All right. The charity match. Yeah, charity Let's match. Let's talk. Let's talk. So, uh, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, it was good. <laughs> all right. Uh, no, but... So let's talk about, let's go through the day. Yeah, okay. So first things first, we turn up to the hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, I stayed in the hotel. You did as I well. I did, yeah. We got dinner. We did, that shit. That was Me nice. We got yeah. dinner. I was really angry because the pasta was, I didn't really like the pasta. I was like, oh, Simon, this, so no, okay. I was really hungry, didn't eat during the day. <laughs> the game's the next day. So I was like, okay, I really should eat now. Um, and I ordered the carbonara and it was, what, what, it was like rigato rigat rigatoni. rigatoni. It's a really long tube of pasta. And it was, it was that kind of pasta that was really chewy, you know? You know, if you put your pasta in the pot and you take it out a bit too early, it was like that. And in the lift after I'd e eaten it pretty much all, I said to Simon, I was like, oh, it's gross, it's too chewy. And he was like, yeah, that's how like Italians make well, no, pasta. No, you said it was a bit, a little bit hard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which is al dente. Got you, al dente, had a name to it. Yeah. Which um I, I didn't know I said that. Uh, the Italian way, apparently. Yeah, I, like, nice, I couldn't care less. Nice little candlelit dinner um, yeah. before the game. So I think me, you, Bez stayed there. Uh, yeah, late. quite. Yeah, I mean, quite a few people did. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, we also spoke to Chunks that night. Yeah, he was very excited. Yeah, and then yeah, went to bed. Next day, wake up and. What did you do in the morning? We, we went, went on a walk. walk. We went on a walk. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't sleep the night before, so I actually slept until, well, surprise, until 4 a.m. I got up at 4 a.m. and I couldn't sleep again, not because of the nerves, um, 
other reasons, but it was, you know, here's what it is. So I was like, yeah, let's, let's get some, get a walk in. I was actually really nervous of the walk though, because you walk really fast. Do I? Well, yeah, if we like walk from like, say here to the train station, you just walk really fast. I didn't walk fast then though, did No, I? you didn't. Because so I, like, I don't know where I'm going. Yeah. No, if no, I'm no. like, okay, I'm going right now, we're going to the train station. Yeah. I'll walk fast. Yeah. I know where I'm going. Yeah. I know where I got to be. I, I don't mind walking fast, but I'm like, but I'm, I was thinking the, the, the day before the, uh, the moments before the game, I was like, I don't want to walk too fast before the game. But then you didn't want to eat it either. And Ethan was walking really far. You were like, let's go back. You were like, let's go back now. Yeah. And I enjoyed that. I was like, I appreciated that. And also, to be fair, we had Danny Aarons with us, who is literally like, he's like <laughs> a eight year old on a prime. <laughs> yeah. It was me, you, Ethan, Jamie, Danny, and Ginge. Ginge. Toby was there and as Toby. well. Toby. Yeah. Maybe a, it, few, maybe a few others, yeah, I don't but know. But yeah, it's just constantly like, we've never we never met Ginge until then. Mm -hmm. So we're all just kind of talking like, oh, you know, this is going to be sick, blah, blah, blah. Danny's there, who, just running around, <laughs> pretending to kick us. And then you just constantly hit, us, us, yeah. us, us. Oh, you it, know, I could beat you up. Us. And again, it's not a, it's not a criticism. It's just no, it like, is. Danny, it, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we said he reminds, it's what we were like. Well, we weren't like that. But it makes <laughs> no. us feel old. Cause it's like, it's just a kid being a kid, you know? Yeah. Um, it was loads of energy, it's, it's, it's fine. But him and Ginger together are jokes. They both turned up with the Lightning McQueen Crocs. Yeah. And then, and then they were like, I, I got mine before you. And I think it might be in Toby's vlog. I don't know if you got that in Toby's vlog. Yeah, he's yeah. like my last two brain cells. And it's just <laughs> yeah, those two yeah. like, oh, how much do you pay for yours? Oh, the, this, oh, I paid more. That yeah. means they're mine. Oh. But that was nice though, to take like, the, the mind off everything. What I don't like on these chat match things, which is not a problem, is like, They'll be like, oh, everyone, everyone ready? Everyone get to like the lobby or whatever it is. And we just stand there for like 20 minutes. Yeah. Well, no, it's because they, they have to tell people because certain people turn up late. I know, I know. So, but, but it's like, if you're, the, if you're the person who follows the rules, like I do, I'm always kind of, I, I, I like, I hate the rules, but I follow them like a, like a kid at school. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm like first in line, but I don't want to be. I'm just scared about, scared about being late. Then if you are first in line and you wait, you know, you have to wait for everyone else. Well, before we, we went to the lobby and then they were like, okay, upstairs, everyone for the food. That's the one. The food was buff. Food was really good. It was, and I had, they had everything. They had everything. They had like fish, chicken. They had like then obviously all the hot stuff. Then they had like pasta, pasta omelets. They would make a live omelet for you. A live omelet. Well, nuts. No, they were, they were making it live. That they food look. You you really like made that food not look good. <laughs> Toby has done that food in. This is jokes, by the way. So I'm sat with Toby and he pulls up with that. So he's got like um, chili con carne style food or just that right on top of his rice. That looked more like a bolognese. I'll be honest. Yes, similar, similar. And then XVC just goes. Um, Ew! <laughs> like literally, like bro, we were just everyone was quiet and he literally stands up, points to it, and goes. It's before he was filming. He goes, ew! And everyone's like, what? What's going on? And he was like, you're eating sauce with rice? This is crazy. You know, it was so jokes. He's, by the way, such a sick guy. He's so, he's yeah, so he funny, really man. Is. Like, you know, obviously you, you see people online, you don't really know what they're like in person. But he <laughs> he's was, got Jamie creasing. Yeah, everyone was creasing, man. And then I actually ate some of the Tobys as a joke, by the way, off, but he didn't pan the camera around. <laughs> so it looks like I was just stealing some of his food. Um, well, you know, XUC you went up to, you, you see that chicken there. Yeah. He went up to the, the pan with all those. Is, it, is this fishes? Is this fishes? <laughs> and everyone's like, bro, it's clearly chicken. chicken. Yeah. Like, yeah. They didn't had, understand it. They had fruit, yogurt, plain yogurt. Yeah. And I had that. So I had some of that. I had some yogurt and, and then fruit, and I was eating it. And then Philly went and got some. And he looked at me like, he's, he's like, bro, this is unreal. This slaps. He's like, what is this? Like whipped cream or something? I'm like, no, it's yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, this is so nice. I'm like, what? You never had yogurt before. But um, yeah, and also the banana bread. Do you have any of that? No. Because everyone's like, oh, you should try this banana bread. And next we see it was like, try this, it's really nice. So I went and tried it, thinking, oh, it's banana bread, you know? <laughs> it was just like sugary cake. <laughs> I'm like, he looked at that as so he went, is it, what is it, is it toast? <laughs> I was like, he's the other like, toast and banana bread. Yeah. Doesn't look alike. And then Mr. Beast walked in. And I'll, I'll say, Jay didn't even turn up for this, by the way. He was doing yeah. his own thing. He's Jay's too, too big time. This. Yeah. But um, I, 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 I would say that, like, because I was texting someone, oh, I, I, back to see, oh, does, does he have the, the goat, you know? You should be gastro in his presence. And I was like, yeah, obviously, sick guy. But then I was like, you know, he didn't really carry the aura. In a good way. Yeah. Like, because he felt really approachable. Yeah, fully. And then Mr. B when Mr. Beast walked in, you do feel a little bit of aura. Yeah. But again, he, not that he's not approachable. He still is really approachable and really nice. But you, you just know that, like, damn, this guy's the, this guy's yeah. the Don. Even though actually, he has- I feel like that's a bad thing almost. It's a bad thing. Because I almost felt like I didn't want to, you know, he came and walk, he walked over to our table. Yeah. And it was kind of this moment where everyone just kind of looked at him a bit. And then whoever he spoke to replied. Yeah. And that was it. But, it, but it's not his fault because he's still approachable. It's not approachable. his fault at all. It's, not it's fault our at all. fault because we know he's the GOAT and he's doing so well. Yeah. That makes it like that. But XQC would just kind of sit there and he just doesn't, there's no feeling of like, okay, I can just 
Exactly, I'll yeah. But he has just penned the 100 mil deal, right? So it's kind of like, you know, this guy, is, he's got his chain. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Whoa. But then Mr. Beast walks in and this is why you know he's, he's so good for content because Toby's vlogging, just normal stuff. And then Mr. Beast's like, oh, I'll, gi- I'll give you some vlog footage, film this, you know? So just Toby's like, okay. And then Mr. Beast just goes up to XTC and goes, okay, uh, I want to make $100 million. How do I do it? <laughs> and I'm like, bro, Toby just like, got a banger here. <laughs> yeah. You know? And then and XTC's like, well, obviously Toby put this in, so just watch it. He's like, well, you got to stream, you know, nonstop. <laughs> yeah. And Mr. Beast's like, okay, well, <laughs> I don't want to do, do that. That that meal made me feel old. Yeah. And I know I'm old, but just seeing it was like me... Me, Theo, Vic, Lannan, all of us were sat around. And then you have like Kai walks in, cameraman behind yeah, him. Yeah. Kai's like, yeah, we're going to eat this. Oh my God. Speed Deji walks, in, walks in, in as cape. well. Yeah. Speed walks in and starts suing. Danny Aaron's yeah. all the time. And I, I just, I had no want to pick up a camera. No, no, I know. And again, it's nothing wrong. Because I was saying the same thing to Simon before the podcast started. And we were like, hold on, let's just talk about this on here. I felt so old too. And I was like, I felt just also so pathetic. I was like, you know, everyone's just filming. And, and again, I'm not mad at them for filming. I want them to. But I'm like, you know, I should be filming, but I don't want, I have no desire to oh, film. Oh yeah. No, I was happy they were all filming. I just, I had just no want. Yeah. That's- I was like, I feel like a 40 year old guy, like get off my lawn. <laughs> and that's just like, but you should be doing this. You should be filming. We should be filming, right? That was the other thing. Because turned- content creators at a content event. Yeah, hundred percent. But you turn the camera to XQC, you turn it to speed, you turn it to anyone, and they just kind of go like, "Yeah, yeah, we'll man, do stuff." Yeah. Whereas I felt like we all just the camera turned to us and we went, "Eh, no, nah, it's gonna be sick." <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Yeah, get our gas for today, man. Yeah, and then uh, you know go back to eating my little con carne. It's just a, yeah, I'm just and then even on the bus, man, everyone's just like everyone's just like having loads of fun, and I'm just there like sat like this. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, going I'm, down a water slide <laughs> yeah yeah true and i'm not not enjoying my day i'm just like i don't know i think i, I don't know i don't know man. and then walking into the charity match the dressing room that was fun as well like seeing the names there i'm like this is so cold man well we had um on the bus theo was sat behind me and mr beast is there he has a cameraman yeah he's filming stuff and they literally like it, so jimmy turns to i can't remember who he's about to talk to but he turns to someone starts asking a question and Theo just presses play and it just starts like the most copyrighted music <laughs> yeah, possible. Yeah, I thought that. I didn't and that. I see I see Jimmy kind of give a look of <sighs> fuck's sake. He knows it also he knows he can't really say anything because it also is like vibes on the book. Yeah, he can't be like everyone quiet down so I can get this two second clip. Yeah, yeah. I think also isn't his wasn't his like he's filming for like I think behind the scenes kind yeah, of shit. Yeah, I think so. So um I guess like that you want to capture the behind the scenes of the vibe, right? Yeah. But he's right. I also saw him at the charity match after the game. He was filming a story of like everyone holding the trophies and stuff. And, then I, and I, you just like see him go, ah, nah, that's not it. And then he changes it and does something else. So it's, it's just like how like he, his mind works with content. Yeah. But everything is like, how do I get the best content? Whereas like me, I, well, I'm speaking for, I'm speaking on behalf of you here, but it's probably the same. Me and you would just be gassed to take one story. I'll, I'll just capture what it is and then be like, shit, put my phone away. <laughs> yeah. people, people don't mind about like going, okay, let's get another take. As if it was like a actual YouTube video, even it's just a story. Um, but he's generally such a sick guy. And on, on the, like, jumping forward a little bit, on the bench, he was like, yeah, put me back in. I want to go play again. Yeah. And you know, it's actually sick like to see him. I felt like that with every single person that was there. I thought they were just like, they were all sick. Yeah. The only person I'd, I wish I spoke to more was Duke. Yeah, yeah. Because he seemed uh, he seemed nice, just he seemed so quiet, mm-hmm. which is quite weird considering like every video I've seen of him, he's like quite loud. Yeah, and- yeah. But I guess obviously it's like a new country, isn't it? And like loads of new people. Yeah. So he might be one of the, one of the guys where in his like element thrives, but then not he didn't thrive in the game or the, the environment, just, you know, maybe takes a bit of get to get to know, which then, is fine. Yeah, then we turn up to the stadium. Uh, we go in the changing rooms. Last year, the sidemen had the away changing room. Yeah. Which, I'm be honest, Charlton, it stinks. But that's what, that, that is the point of it. For, it's yeah, an for away, away stadiums room. in those kind of yeah. It's oh a good yeah, thing. fully, fully. Yeah. But the home the home one was like the home one was quite nice. Yeah. Whereas this year we took the home one, and both of them were nuts. Well, everything this year well, before we get into the segment, it was like leveled up. And I think when you go from like last, you can go from oh last year was the perfect game, right? So I think some of you you boys maybe were a bit nervous that oh how can we top last year? But I think even just like getting off the coach, like immediately, everything just felt so much sicker. Oh, like, even before that, yeah. when we turn the corner and we see the top of the stadium, yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. we turn to all the American guys and go like, by the way, that's the stadium. And they're all like, oh shit. Yeah, okay. man. And then you see like all the cameras, all the BTS stop panning into the stadium. You think, yeah. like, everyone knows it's a big deal. So yeah, just, just everything was just felt 
more fun and exciting from the get-go. So obviously shout out to you guys for like selling it out, you know, because that, that means that not only was it a good idea to go in that kind of stadium, it also means that, you know, you can keep leveling up potentially. Yeah. So that was just so sick. But yeah, the, the home changing room was unreal. It was so good. Although the away changing room, they all came in the home one and were like, oh no, you lot have stitched us up. I was like, well, we had the away one last year yeah. and also the home and away ones this year were nuts. Yeah, yeah. Like the away one, the actual changing room was nuts. They yeah. didn't have the, the toilets weren't as nice. Yeah. And they didn't have a plunge pole. Yeah, but not everyone used that anyway. <laughs> motorbike. There was a motorbike in the room. <laughs> but no, <laughs> yeah, not everyone used it. And also they were welcome to use it if they wanted yeah, to come yeah, in. Come yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but they walk in, see your names there. Kit there, that was sick. Um, boots, little glowberry. I, I was fuming. Don't try it. No. Have a little sip. No, mm. I had it on there and I was thinking, oh, like I should take this home with me. And then I was just in a rush afterwards. I obviously I didn't sleep very well, which is not a problem. I, I slept fine, just didn't sleep enough. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get some caffeine today, but I'm not gonna get it early. So in the breakfast, I didn't have any caffeine. I was like, like an hour or half an hour before the game or just before the game, I'll have some caffeine. Um, so I was hoping like, I'm sure there'd be like some sort of energy drink at the stadium. Get there, we do the warm up, get back in. I'm like, I'm like, I can't find any. You've got a prime, but I'm like, that's your prime. I found a, that, I found that on the floor of where we had breakfast. Did you? Yeah. Banging. Yeah. That's Someone just so dropped sick. it and I was like, I'll have that. Yeah, take that. Put it in my That's bag. Sick. That's so sick. Had half of it and Dad was like, oh, can I have a sip? And I was like, okay, well, let me just, all right, you can finish I, it. I didn't even want to ask for a sip because I saw Beth had a monster as well. I was like, these guys are so smart. <laughs> and I was just like, I went to like ask Stuart, he's like, I was like, can I get some um, like energy drink? He gives me the, like the prime hydration. I'm like, nah, that's <laughs> And then I think the physio dons gave me like the gel. Yeah. I waited for half time to have. Um, but then yeah, I was just like scratch, and I saw the sweets and the side sweets. Yeah, and I was looking at them. I was like, "This is like the only source of energy I can get." But I'm, like, <laughs> I'm not eating sweets for the game, so I left them. But I was really like <laughs> looking at these. I had the hydration um, pod things that Billy was giving out. Yeah, the little tablets. I had ba Bezos one. He gave a little thing out. I was just like having everything, and I didn't even come on <laughs> <laughs> in the first half. We'll talk about it later. But yeah, so then we did the warm up, and. Straight away, everyone does the same thing. You get a ball and you just kick it about. Yeah. And then someone tried, to, I think Ethan led the warm up. Yeah. Or yep. someone led a warm up. And someone comes over to me and goes, Can we grab you for an interview as soon as JJ's done? So yep. I go over and JJ just waffles for an extra like 15 oh, minutes. Oh, God. So I missed the entire warm up. Well, oh, yeah, you'd actually. You yeah. Went there, I'm just yeah. stood next okay, to the yeah. interview, like, yeah, wait, can, can I do this so I can go warm up? Well, what I, I overheard Billy and someone else talking in the dressing room, and they were kind of saying, let's not, don't do much running in the warm up because it's so warm, right? Yeah. Like, keep it low. And, but obviously, no one. Therefore, no one was there to lead the work workout like there was last year. So then Bez started doing it. And um, so we were actually were doing some like running stuff. But I actually, I, I don't really feel the heat that much. I think because I was in the moment so much that it was like- I know what you mean. Also, I didn't play first half. It was much more, um, the sun went down all over the stadium yeah. more in the second half when I came on. But I actually enjoyed it, man. Also, I was a lot more fit this year than last year. I know I still don't look it on the cameras and stuff, but like compared to last year, I just run, could run more. So I was really enjoying it kicking a ball around and stuff. But then JJ walks up after he does his, um, cause obviously everyone's, he didn't save a shot in warm up. Like yeah. everyone, was, everyone who put it on target scored it. Yeah. And then he came over after after that. And I was like, oh, how, how'd you get on? He's like, yeah, he's like, mate, this is so hard. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, we're But fucked. this is what everyone was saying how, oh, you know, he's athletic, whereas we have XQC. Yeah. And I thought, you guys haven't seen JJ in goal. <laughs> yeah. And I know in the game, he made like one or two saves. Well, you know, he was unreal in the game compared to what like, was I thought he, he was gonna be. But bro, that save from Chris MD, I did not expect him to save that. He if that went speed in, over the bar. If if the one Chris MD shot, I'll I'll say happily, it was a good save. Yeah. But if it went in, horror. Yeah, I mean obviously It he, went at him. It went here. Like if it? he doesn't okay. save that. Yeah. But, but even, and he also scored an own goal. Yeah, that was really weird. And he didn't even mean to. <laughs> no, I, I have asked to. him multiple times and he's he's promised. Like he sworn in his life that he didn't mean to. Yeah, legit, legit. I was gonna um, say something about the- So warm up happened. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, I actually really enjoyed the green screen by the way. Oh, we all, yes, yeah, so we all went in a room to do the green screen for the lineup. Yeah. But no one really understood it. No. So some people were like, oh yeah, I want to do another one where I do this. And I was like, bro, it's it's, it's just one yeah, yeah. for the lineup. That's but it. I feel like also it breaks the ass really nicely though. Cause everyone's in there like bantering and chatting. It's just a really nice moment for both teams in your kit as well, or you know. It is, but, um, a few people went up, did it, and I, I like me and whoever was around were all going like, "Oi, oh yeah, yeah, keep it going," and stuff like that. Because yeah. you have to like Go hold, hold it a pose. Yeah. So we were all trying to gas up everyone. Yeah. And then one or two of them left. Did theirs, went and left. Oh. And then no one was getting gassed. Oh. Up. 
So it's actually like so, like awkward. you know, someone's doing a pose and it's just kind of like, <clears throat> and someone's like, <laughs> okay, got you. <laughs> That's it. And everyone's just and quiet. JJ with the green screen. Yeah, that was jokes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that took so long, you know. His one. Yeah, as in he got he went up like six times to do oh, it, no way. and they kept saying, "Oh, like we had to check that this was okay because you're wearing green." Yeah, yeah. And all the side men were there going, "It's fine, it's fine, just like it's it. funny." Yeah, yeah. Let him do yeah, it. Yeah. Some of the some of these were jokes though. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 I like I like this a lot, he, bro. By the way, so Mr. Beast's one here. He did that. Obviously, when you look at him, did you see him do that? No, he was just so still. Really? Yeah, he's been working on his like yoga and stuff. He's just, just so still. I couldn't, I couldn't believe how like impressive that was. Off Ethan did his one and he went like, oh yeah. And yeah. I was like, bro, you know, there's no sound. Yeah. So your lips are just shaking. Yeah. <laughs> All he's going is, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Toby did the Rashford. Yeah. Who else this did we fun, have? Man. This is fun. Oh, it was really, really Luke's good. Luke's his shoe. But Luke started on a bench actually. Josh so actually did the XI. So we said it as a cringy joke. Yeah. <laughs> he just turned around. <laughs> Because he looks so scared. <laughs> I said to them, I went, I don't know what to do. And they said, oh, I'll just do whatever you want. And I, yeah. I don't want to be here. We couldn't <laughs> see your face on the big screen. Like, it was a bit too far away. So we just saw an awkward like stand. <laughs> the two women were like, so the two women that were doing it, were, as soon as I pulled the face, they kind of went like, okay. Now what? <laughs> now the action. I just carried on staring. They went, why are you so sad? <laughs> I'm glad they actually added subs here as well because I was like, I did it and I was like, wait, they're probably not going to show the subs. Like, what's the point of doing all this? <laughs> then I do this, look, yeah. Calyx is the one. It took so long. It took so long. But even then they were like, oh, let's just check if you can do this. I'm like, yeah, you can do this, you know. Um, but it was really good. Like, nah, that, it was fun, it was fun. Yeah, that, that was a funny bit. But then the game, should, 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 should chat about the game now. Jin, just got that. <laughs> what a legend, man. Airac, by the way. Yeah. Lovely guy. Yeah, really nice. I didn't really expect to talk to him much. Right, he, we were queuing up for the... Um, for the green screen, he was the one before me. And he was like, "Oh, hey man." He was like, um, "Good to good to meet you." I was like, "Yeah, yeah, you too, man." He's like, "Oh, I love your videos." I was like, "What?" I'm like, He's like, "Yeah, that's sick videos, man." I'm like, "I'm like, okay, you're just lying," <laughs> or he just maybe should have tested him. Yeah, I was like, "Which what, one? What videos do I do?" <laughs> but then again, like, you, but if you, you do forget that a lot of these people just like they were well, smaller they, at one point. If that makes sense. Yeah, and, and they, they also were just us. do what? Yeah, they just. They watch YouTube in terms of they they like to know what's going on because he studies YouTube. Yeah, loads, yeah, yeah. So he yeah. probably knows everything about what's going on around yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah, and, and he just probably you know then starts making these unreal videos, but probably still watches other videos. Yeah, you know? I mean everyone's into their own thing, but I, but I, I don't know when I'm, when people say, say things like that, I don't give the best response I should. I should be like, oh, thank you, man. I really, really appreciate that. I'm always like, why? <laughs> Side note, yeah. just relating to a smaller YouTuber that watches stuff. There was a YouTuber when we were in lockdown. Sidemen did a video. That was um, donating to Twitch streamers. I saw this guy. One one of the guys they they said if you eat fifty dollars, uh, if you eat a lemon, we'll yep. give you fifty dollars. Yeah, and he did it. Yeah, he now at that point had twenty two viewers. Mm -hmm. He now has like two point six more subs. Yeah, yeah. He killed, I saw this guy on my, on my TikTok. Yeah, page. he came up on my TikTok. Yeah. It was just, yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just like, that's the way content works, man. If you grind, if you work at things, you can get places. But then again, I think, I think a lot of people don't put in the um, longevity early enough. Yeah. So it's like, if you, if, you know, things like this can happen, man. Like, if you start now, start posting, do the right things, study the game. There's no reason why in like two, three years you can't be like killing it. Because also everyone does the same thing. Like there's so many Twitch streamers out there. But the thing is, if you do actually stand yourself out it's very it is actually it's, it's not, i'm not saying it's easy but if you do the right things it actually isn't as hard as you think but you have to do the right things that's the hard part so you have to study it and actually think that what works um but it can be done for sure yeah. there he is yeah yeah now, so and now he, he's he had 22 viewers at this point now he's banging yeah yeah unreal fair play sorry that was a little tangent yeah but the game uh, so i think obviously there was a worry at the start about will this top last year's yeah we knew it wasn't going to top it in terms of the game yeah but well, but, but you know what we'll get to it, obviously but it, it did it was close enough yeah it was like really literally i think as close as you could get because because but, but, but we'll get there but then but obviously also already going from like the changing rooms just the atmosphere I, I think the atmosphere was like better than last year like, yeah, like in terms sure. of the excitement everyone yeah. even the, the meal before everything just felt so much more fun um and not even better just more exciting you know yeah I think that helped from having certain people like like Kai being there yeah. this time. He was just so he was so like up for it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he obviously had no idea what to expect. Well, isn't, isn't that why last year you did put everyone like all the the YouTube All Stars in the 
home dressing room because you don't want like, to invite all these like big people to the game and then yeah. you stick them in a little cupboard and then we put Mr Beast in the cupboard yeah yeah, yeah true 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 <laughs> but yeah we wanted to give them we knew both would be good on this yeah like this one so yeah for it's sure. fine but then, so then, <laughs> <laughs> speed. well so then the game started and then obviously I, okay I know there's been loads of like and again this doesn't really matter because it is just a vocal minority but there's been loads of like oh it was unfair or it was rigged or like Manny say was trying too hard which we'll get into all that stuff but as the game started, me and Lux were stood, because we couldn't see, by the way. They, kept, they put us on the bench, right? Honestly, on the bench. But then you got all the camera crew and yeah. everyone like stood in the way. So I was like, well, and then the All-Stars went and sat on the side of the pitch. So we were like, let's just do that as well. So we went and stood on the side of the pitch. And around 20 minutes in, they were like, oh, sorry, someone's complaining. Can you sit on the bench again? So we did. I, was like, I said, they get, like, yeah, if you can clear. Because so obviously we have to see, right? Yeah, Surely yeah. we can see. Um, and then, then Josh was like, nah, just like whoever's complaining, just Tom show up. Like, we're gonna yeah. stand here. But anyway, but then he looks and stood there and we were like, oh, we're fucked. We were like, we are like Simon team. Like, we are oh, fucked. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, like, bro, Theo yeah, went on an like, incredible run. 45 seconds in. Yeah, on that run. And it, to be fair, he should have scored that. He should have. Um, or at least, or put it for speed. Like, either one of the two, you know. That's why he missed, though. Because he, he, he let, left, both. left it out there. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he was unreal. And then, literally, for the next, I don't know how much it is, maybe like 10 minutes, it was just non stop YouTube All Stars attack. The ball went into uh, their half maybe once. And it was just nonstop. And honestly, you were looking at all you, all you boys, and then like the the defense, and like the midfield. I'm like, bro, I do not envy these guys at all. I, me and looks were like, I don't even want to go on. Like, I do not put me on. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I saw. I, I was just like up front thinking, I've got nothing. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, the yeah, ball yeah. every yeah. now and then would come up to me, and then I get the ball, I turn around, I see Vic, <laughs> and I'm thinking, okay, I'll try and play him through, but he doesn't really like chase it. No, or, like he doesn't predict where the ball's he gonna kind of, go. And also, he kind of. Sta- I think Vic plays a bit too up front. Like yeah. I think you gotta play obviously you're up front, but you gotta like stay a well, little bit further back and then transition into the You don't if you're actually gonna run off the last man, like if you're trying to Yeah, of course, yeah. Okay, but he yeah. doesn't do that. No, no, no. So no. it was a bit it was kind of just like there's nothing on here. Yeah, yeah. Um before well, before that, yep. Ethan did walk out with Olive. That was it. It was, it was very beautiful. Cute. Yeah. Very cute. Obviously for Ethan, like, for Ethan's day was already like sick as well because Obviously, it's his home like ground, but also not even just like a home ground. And, and it's no offense to like say, no offense to, like JJ. Like obviously, Arsenal fan got a box at Arsenal now, but like you know, for, for Bez, he, like West Ham has obviously been like he used to go to games all the time, very yeah. big part of his life, you know. So then Bill's play, and I think he got captain right, which he said that you like pushed him, you put his yeah. Well, I just said to JJ because. I, I was captain like first three games. Yeah. JJ was captain last year. Yeah. I just said to JJ, I was like, oh, I'm thinking we should make Ethan captain this yeah. year. Yeah. Makes uh, sense. And he was like, yeah, calm. And then that's where I went over and I said to, I said to a couple of the guys organizing it, I was like, by the way, do you have the captain's armbands? I'm going to go give them one. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, get it to that's Ethan. Sick, that's sick. And they went, oh my God, we don't have any. Oh my. So God. they ran out, got it. Yeah. Just before kickoff, nice. gave me it. I gave it to Billy and Billy was like, oh yeah, the boys have all been talking. Because I told Josh as well. I was just yeah. like, let's make Ethan captain. It's- yeah. But you, you're not even just making a captain, but even like having that moment. Where, like Billy, Billy is sick, by the way. He, like, he makes everything just so much better. Yeah. He liked the little speech and like, oh, the boy's been talking, you know, we're going to present this to Ethan. It just makes everything seem yeah. like, you know, more more team spirit and stuff, which is really nice. But yeah, Ethan walked out with Olive. Um, the only thing I was thinking, right, is mm-hmm. he was going to walk out with Olive regardless. Yeah. Would it not have been weird to walk out with Olive if he's like halfway in the pack? True, <laughs> you know true, what I mean? Yeah, true, true. Like I feel like the captain. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> it would have actually yeah. been a weird thing. But I, I reckon maybe even if he had no captain or whatever, I reckon people would have been would have seen him with the baby and been like, "Oh, jump at the front or something." Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so then the game started, and then, and then luckily, obviously, you guys had the break. I think Harry gets it, gives it to Josh. He gives it to Ethan. What? The, the ball, the ball. No, I lived. What? Well, I'm saying, I'm saying in the game. I'm saying the, 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 the change happened in the game. Where Harry had the ball, passed to oh, Josh. Oh, we're going back into the game. Okay, yeah, yeah, I was still yeah. doing the stuff before. Oh, what, what is this shit? So did you notice Theo just went completely on his own because XQC didn't realise that's what you do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, then we didn't know either because after... So, firstly, I didn't shake hand with Speed because <laughs> nice. the whole day he had been ignoring me. Oh, wow. Um, and then... So, after their whole team goes past our team, we're meant to go back past the, uh, the officials. Yeah. And I want to see what happens here because... I just start walking off and all the officials go, you're meant to come to us, by the way. Oh. And none of us had any idea. So I want to know who walked off first. Was it me or was it? Yeah. Because look, so after, I think Chunks was last, right? So yeah, so then Ethan goes there. JJ goes there. This is what's meant to happen. Everyone says this. So Harry goes. 
Oh, so Toby was a little bit behind. So then I got confused. So he, yeah. So I think he went over and then I just didn't go. Yeah. And then they went, oh, you're meant to talk to us. I went, oh my God, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, as soon as, as I was still like, I, mean, I just walked off again. And yeah. the line continued. Yeah. Um, and then Will obviously two-footed the little car. I mean, that was jokes, right? Because I saw that happen after the game, obviously. And I didn't know how far he ran. Yeah. He, he ran so far. I know. <laughs> Uh, but I got terrified because I was about so to pick close. it up. Yeah, yeah, you were so close. To the ref. I said to him, I was like, am I going to pick this up or is it the ref? And then if I put my hand down to pick the ball up. <laughs> yeah. But Clattenburg goes, oh, that's a 10 grand machine that is. And he's just two footed it. <laughs> actually 10 grand. Apparently. I don't know how. That's yeah, like a either. kid's toy. that like a remote control car with a plastic on it. Yeah. But anyway, shut up. I know that. I think it's Volkswagen did a post by it anyway. So it's yeah. like, you know. I think they went up to him and said like, You've broken it. Take Do you picture. mind doing a picture with yeah, us? Yeah, yeah, Bless. So yeah, but Theo true. misses in the first like 45 seconds. Yeah. Kai scores an offside goal, five but minutes Good in. finish as well. Good finish. Actually a pretty good finish. But very fast. <laughs> All right, I will say as well, like, like you think you would think that they would have like a little offside session based on last year with speed. Like, like five minutes before the game, a lot of Americans on there. Let's, like, let's just go over the rules real quick. You'd think, but at the same time, Nico told Gideon he handball. can handball it. I know, but that was a troll. You know, that was a troll. <laughs> yeah. But no, well, 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 I mean, it was a troll, but it backfired. No, it backfired <laughs> massively. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, as in like, but like, yeah, like obviously the, tr the troll's there and it negatively affected them. But then also you think like offside, like, I don't know, I just have a short conversation. Cause off down the foot, just jokes, the old yeah. TikToks, I've been showing them. Um, but more, more for them, more for Kai personally, because like he's going to be gassed here. And he's like, oh, what? Like, I don't get why this doesn't yeah. count. Um, but yeah, so then after, obviously after this little, little bar barrage of like um, All-Stars attack, then this happens, you know. So this is eight minutes in, completely against the runner play. Oh, completely. Like Com so this, this badly. This probably helped, like, this helps Simon so much. So Josh game. Josh plays it to Ethan. Yeah. He flicks it past Max. Yeah. And then Gideon just like picks the ball up. <laughs> yeah. And then... I uh, hear I was literally like, if he doesn't score here, yeah, yeah, yeah. and hasn't passed it, I'm gonna be fucking yeah. confused. He had to shoot though, innit? Oh, 100%. He had to shoot. I actually didn't, I wasn't calling for it, but I was like, uh, if he does miss, I'm gonna be fuming because this was his chance. Bro, I started tearing up here, you know, as well. Like, actually, like, it just hit me. Like, everyone's going crazy in the crowd. Vez scores first goal. <laughs> West Ham Stadium. I didn't see the Vic did it too. Yeah, yeah. And then we're, we're, me and looks like, do we go? Do we go? And we're like, yeah, fuck it, we'll go. If we get there really, really late. And <laughs> I'm knackered. I'm like, I'm not even playing. I'm knackered. Ethan, by the way, yeah, just didn't like. He barely talked to anyone in that moment. Really? Yeah, like everyone was going like, "Let's we go, Ethan." He just doesn't even look at us. <laughs> I think he's just like eyes glazed over. Yeah, he probably didn't didn't like know what was going on. <laughs> that was so funny that Gideon picked out. Yeah, and also, that was Nico's fault because Nico told him you can pick the ball up outside. On the two area. occasions, right? He told it. He told him in the training video. Yeah. And then also in I heard. He did a pre He did a video about the game. And he tells him in the warm up oh as well of the actual game that you can handball it. Because also, I'm pretty sure if Jidin just like does anything there with his feet, it just no kicks goal. it anywhere out the yeah. way, like two yards away. Either, anyway, Bez might have taken it back off him, but like you probably not. Probably not. You know. Um, and, and then after that, obviously, um, I think they score. They score again, but obviously, also it made the game much more relaxed. Then it was not as much so as like them battering you guys. Well, Chris does a little that ball by the way. That was Philly's ball. Yeah, and then Chris. Skins Freezy, Skins Harry. And then like, this is what I want to say about everyone uh, talking about the keepers and stuff. No one on the pit, well, neither JJ or XVC are saving any of those shots from that distance. From anyone that's like- no, but this is the issue is everyone wants us to get keepers like- um, I, I keep seeing people say Ben Foster and like John. And I'm yeah. like, they're too good though. No offense, like, they are too good. If you want the score to be one nil, we can do that, but yeah, yeah. you may as well go watch a Premier League match. Yeah, no, like I'd yeah. rather see like JJ playing like he was. Yeah, admittedly, this like I don't think even like John's not saving that. Ben no. Foster. No, no, no. Yeah. I know they're not, but then obviously like a lot of the goals, like your goal, uh, Manny's goal, Chris's goal, like neither JJ or actually see saving those. No, in my opinion, not none of them. You're too no. close. You just placed it too like nicely, and then also even like even like your even like Ethan's finish, your finish, Manny's finish. It's not even like unreal shots. It's just like placing it, you know. Well, so this one here. So we actually played the ball. Go back one second, like one skip. So here we actually play it. Yeah. Out the back, it's so nice. Yeah. Let so it play it. So he plays it forward to Manny, but there was a pass before that. Yeah. I think Harry to Ethan or something. Um. Oh, JJ. Who is that? That was. I don't know. Is it Ginge? Ginge. 
Yeah, so Ginge plays it forward yeah. to Manny. Manny turns, plays this ball over to me. Yeah, and that's what the dink. And then here, where I looked up. Yeah. So I kind of just saw that XUC was... I'm like to the right. Well, if you know, if there was a good goalkeeper, I'll try and score a better goal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But likelihood miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just replace it. Whereas I saw... To whack it. I was really tempted. But then I looked up, looked at XUC, and I thought, yeah. I just have to hit the target yeah, yeah, and I sure. score. By the way, I, I've played obviously in goal before, like not not seriously, but you do. It is really hard to actually. It's so hard. Center yourself. Yeah. The goals are so big, and you actually like forget where you are a lot of the time. And you say you got to watch the ball while you know having your spatial awareness. Actually, people probably laugh when I say this, but I actually think XQC did pretty well. No, I, I got zero point three. Scored, conceded eight goals, but he actually like some of the some of the balls that came over the top, and he like went and grabbed. Not bad at all. Like you know. Well, I look at it as like okay, so far we've scored two. Yeah. No blame for him. Yeah, of course, of course. Okay, we'll carry on and we'll also see JJ. Yeah. Well, do, you, do you think there was blame in either of those goals? He could have come out. Yeah, I was about to say, look, he's not even on the screen. Yeah, no, but he could have come out, but ultimately it's a one-on-one -on -one regardless. Yeah, yeah, you should still score, but look. And, and also, if you think... but, uh, but I'm not, yeah, when yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah. to blame, I mean... Is there a Gatorade in there? I can yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm not saying to blame in terms of like, he's a good goalkeeper. Yeah, I'm just I saying know. like, everyone is saying... If I was standing there, I wouldn't have saved that shot if I was standing in the exact yeah. same position. Yeah. But also, e either you go for the... Either you okay. come out right to challenge you or you don't. You can't do... You can't go in the middle. You have yeah. to either run for you or just stay. And we are talking about an American that's... Or a Canadian that's never played football before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's how I'm judging it. Yeah. Because everyone is saying he like it was unfair that he's in goal. I'm thinking... I genuinely think... I don't know if I would have come out there. Yeah, yeah. Because I would have thought, oh, if I go out... He just has to tap it past. And also, me. also, if you hesitate even a little bit, your mind's already made up for you. You know, yeah. and you're like, oh "Shit, I'm gonna stay back." But I, I don't know. It's just like, like if, but I'm saying that he put a shift in. Like he was trying. You know, he's like he was diving. He was diving. He put. A, he was trying his best. Um, what was this goal? Oh, this was Chunks's one. Yeah. Oh, JJ, unfortunate here. JJ actually had this covered. Yeah, he did. He did. This shot, he was. I was right behind it, and he was gonna save it. Yeah. Even there, then, he almost got that. Yeah, yeah. He really did almost get that one. It was weird though that they were dominating us. Yeah. Then we score. Yeah. And yeah. then they score immediately. Mm -hmm. They couldn't mm -hmm. score until we scored. No, no. But it's nice though. I feel like these games, obviously, you're, you know, you're, you're there as a, like a Simon player. You want to win the game. But also like you just, as long as something fun happens, you, you, you enjoy it, right? Yeah. So that's, so why I, it, that's why I said, as soon as he scored, I said to him, I was like, thank God. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Please score more. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's good to see, man. Yeah. Look, JJ, I'm convinced JJ has this. Yeah. I think so. I think so. Yeah. He does, right? Yeah. Yeah, not that. Not it wasn't an awful shot either. It was just like a nice little. Was he like because JJ's very competitive? Was he genuinely fuming? Do you reckon here? He not fuming. He he just every time he's thinking like this is this is ridiculous because he wants to he wants to win, but like entertain. He's more entertaining and he wants to like he wants to prove he can do something. Yeah, but also he's and maxed up and he's like he's got a bit of like content to make and he, he yeah. as with everything he goes into content mode you know so he, that's when he's when he's having a go at the linesman when he scores, scores the on goal which we'll get into like it's just fun it's just battering yeah. it's not being serious or anything and I, when i scored martin he comes over because the whole time before he's going yeah simon has to score a hat trick yeah yeah yeah. he has to yeah. so then i score everyone else is like yeah it's a great goal he comes over and goes two more i want two more <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> brother <laughs> like, jokes is before the game can't you just celebrate a goal before the game me and josh are like um oh simon do you want anything like can we massage you or whatever <laughs> like whatever you want i don't remember this offer do you not? No. <laughs> bro, you walked in at the start and bro, me and Josh were like, oh, we'll suck your dick, you know, whatever, whatever you <laughs> I want. remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that part. <laughs> we're like, anything we can do for you. I said massage to make it more appropriate for the podcast. Oh, uh, okay. Um, but, then this is second half. So half time, let's talk oh, half time. by the way, let me say first and foremost, by the way. So I didn't play in the first half, not because like Billy didn't want to put me on or I wasn't ready. I was stood on the halfway line for 15 minutes. They had my name on uh, and my number on the thingy, but Vic just didn't want to come off. Vic was like, no, we need, to, I need to, we need to be ahead before we make a change. And I'm like, and B Billy was honestly, Billy was like, Rand, I'll give you two minutes. So I was like, <laughs> Vic, all, all Vic's gonna do is come off for two minutes and back again. Um, and I didn't mind, by the way, but I was kind of, I'd like, half time, I was just kind of like, I was more annoyed at the fact I was just stood there. Do you know what I mean? Because all the crowd are probably like, oh, look at him trying to get on, oh, a little pathetic loser. <laughs> and I'm just like, bro, I'd rather just not, like, just stand the, 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 the yeah, you know, wait. It was noticed, not you standing there in the crowd, but it was noticed that there weren't as many subs this year in the first half. First half, yeah. 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 It's because it was so tight. It always happens. Yeah. The only thing is with that, what you just said, right? So Vic said we need to be ahead before we make a sub. I don't want to be mean, <laughs> but he wasn't helping us get. No, ahead. no, no, no. no. <laughs> and, and also, in my opinion, that that one position there is where, like, you know, like 
Vic Manoff for me for Deji or whatever. That's you can swap it's, that. A it's lot. a free range. Yeah, swap yeah. that a lot, man. Because also not only not only is like obviously the skill level not there for us all, but also like it's a position that you like, you're not in midfield. You know you can mess up. You know what I'm saying? You can you can struggle yeah. to track back a little bit, or you can make a mistake, and it's not going to impact the game too much. But I understand it. But obviously it's a big game. I'm not trying to not chat not chat shit. <laughs> but actually, it's just funny <laughs> it's jokes. This podcast is sponsored by DraftKings. Football is back in full swing with another week of epic games. And who's got you covered on the action for every single one of them? DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. New customers can bet $5 on football and get $200 instantly in bonus bets. Nobody's missing out on the action this season. All DraftKings customers can take advantage of two new offers every game day this September. So get in on the NFL Week 2 action with DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app now and use code What's Good to sign up. New customers can bet just $5 and take home 200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code What's Good. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text hope and y four six seven three six nine. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly on behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort KS. 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. CCDK ng.co slash football for eligibility terms and responsible gambling resources bonus bets expire seven days after issuance eligibility and deposit restrictions apply so half time obviously at this point theo's gone off injured yeah so they have chris and philly as their midfield yeah and they're like they were unreal but you can see philly's getting tired yeah and we have brought on manny with manny and ginge both on the pitch yeah at that point it was unfair ginge was but really i good, still stand just- by the fact it was fair before Theo got injured. Oh, for sure, man, yeah. Mile. And obviously, yeah, you can't change... We also didn't know how good Ginge was. I yeah. thought he was a goalkeeper. Obviously, the, the, the Theo <laughs> thing was really sad anyway, as, as everyone's already said, because obviously he's been, he's been killing it recently, like, you know, really back training, into it with content, yeah. you know, fit, his fitness going crazy, he's doing all these workouts, it's hard 75, he's doing, preparing for all these triathlons and stuff, and then, Obviously, he's not. He's been playing football really carefully as well, like only using his left foot. Yeah. The one time he takes a shot with his right, he falls, and then, you know, but... but Channel's you know, he's, banging. Yeah, his, his challenge is really spanking. That one with uh, Alicia is actually really sick because I know he had his, I challenge YouTubers to their favorite sports. He was like gassing. He's like, bro, I got one out of 10. All I can do is get one out of 10. Second one as well is like, oh, another two out of 10. And then the Alicia one just banged as well. Yeah. So it's like, it's honestly unreal for him. Um, but I think he'll still, he's still going to k- kick on now. He's not going to let it oh, affect 100%. him. Um, and that's like, you know, that's what good people do, man. You can really easily feel sorry for yourself and give up, but you got to keep going. But yeah, if they didn't get injured, the, like the game is, is, is very a different, different. Game. And also, you, you, can't, you can't control that. And also, it's like, I think. The hard part is as well is that you can try and make the teams as fair as you can, but at the end of the day, it is just a, like for charity, so you should try and have fun. That's the other thing, yeah. Um, and also, but also that like, you can, how do I say, you can also try and win. If that makes sense. Like, you can put more effort. In. Like I'm not saying that the YouTube also didn't put effort in, but I'm saying like you can't also blame anyone for trying, trying as either. Well, I mean, like Chris, realistically, right? Because I've seen a lot of comments saying Manny was try hard in blah blah. Yeah, blah. yeah. Chris was tryharding. Yeah. Like, I would say the most out of everyone. Well, that's not a bad thing. He either. had to. Yeah, yeah. To try, like, he had to try. Yeah. Not a bad thing at all. Yeah. But <laughs> I don't know how you can kind of just pick out Manny. No, and also. Because I, I don't think Manny was even trying. No, that we'll, hard get, we'll get to the Manny, Manny goals too. Well, you saw his tweet. Manny tweeted out. He was like, well, also, like, um, he's like, I, he didn't even shoot in the first half when he was playing. Yeah. And he was like, and, he, and I think he said to Toby, he's like, should, should, I, should, I, what, should, I, should I play a bit better? Or what, 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 you know? And if you look at all of his goals, which we'll get through. We'll, we'll just go through it. Let's go through it. Well, okay. We'll go through it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, half time. We had a little team talk. We had a, we had thirty minutes for the half time, which was I really liked. I liked it. I was also worried was just... if I played, I would have worried that like it could also be too long a little bit because you you don't want to let yourself go too. Knackered. Yeah. He, Ethan jumped into the ice bath, which is sick. Bro, I was eyeing the ice bath up so much. If I played in the first half, I would have jumped <laughs> in midway midway through as well. And after we had a little natural orgy together, that was class. Right. <laughs> Well, he had an H to H. Well, bro, we and Josh walked out and just ended. ended. <laughs> well, I heard that. I heard you couldn't hear him that well in right. the stadium. Oh, uh, on but stream. On stream, he yeah, sounded okay, sick. Sick, sick. Like all the videos I've watched back look sick. Cold, cold. And you had the production, you had yeah. the thing in the middle. That's why, by the way, I was like a little bit annoyed in the first half that they didn't add extra time on. Oh, sorry, uh, injury time. More injury time because of the Theo. It did. It was nine minutes. No, they, no at the end. Oh. They had three minutes in the first half. But it, they were saying no, about, it was nine minutes in the first half. No, three minutes. It was three. Was it? Yeah. It, what, the extra time? With Theo? The, first in, half? In the first half, right. I, was, I didn't think they even had any. It three, felt like yeah. It was 45 minutes. Go on, Will's... Uh, yeah. No, nah, I promise you, because I, I, uh, I was stood next to the guy for 15 minutes. <laughs> really? Yeah, they did three. Because they were also talking about how, how much do we put on. And they, they, yeah, they did three. 
Because he has um he has the whole match, right? You guys have got the whole match. It's there, right there. As well. Right there. Yeah. Oh, I mean, no, you just go on the stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The stream actually will have the time on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have sworn he said nah, that because they, also they were saying they couldn't. Maybe add it was more nine on. minutes in the second half. Yeah, it was the, the second half nine minutes because they couldn't. But it was for the fear injury in the second half because they couldn't add it on because they had H to perform. So they had scheduled like uh, lights, okay, cameras, okay. all this shit. How sick does that look, by the way? But yeah, I was like when I was in the um, warm up, I was like, why are the floodlights on? <laughs> <laughs> like, but no, it was unreal. We said the same yeah, thing. Yeah, it must be some reason, like lighting or whatever. Well, that's how it was light in there. Yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, what, what are we looking at now? Oh, this. this. Is the stream, so 45. Well, they scored after this before half time. Yeah. So one minute, two minutes. I don't know how I did it on the stream in terms of the Maybe visuals. Maybe it was just like, didn't they blow straight after that? Yeah, I think. Okay, yeah, three minutes. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so it makes sense because they had to wait for... Performance, yeah, but they added it on. Then I know, I know um, one of the Simon team kept saying like, oh, let me, I'm going to add on extra time. And then Freeze and Josh were like, no, 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 make sure you use the wording injury time because otherwise they're going to think you're talking about extra time. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, no, we don't extra time. <laughs> but um, yeah. Like, look at that. Look yeah, how bro, it's those. unreal. Shout out to everyone out in there. And it's just nice as well. Everyone's, just, everyone's shouting everyone's names and stuff and you just, the vibe's good. What I think we should do, what I think you guys should do next year, right? It's a little bit cringy. It's like, try and like get, a, create a chant. So they can do it. Not, not in the American cringy way. Because obviously- no, We not, are gonna win. <laughs> because everyone, all, just, all fans out there, someone make a TikTok trend to like before the game. Because obviously no one knows a chant because there's no reason to. Everyone's supporting both teams as well. But I don't know, it'd be nice. Anyway. Oh make, God, I actually just realized that I was talking to Will the whole game and it's on GoPro. I don't. I didn't say anything bad. But oh no! Yeah, he just, he just kept. Thing. He just kept like, uh, like I would say to him, "Have a look at the comments and see if they're roasting me." Yeah, <laughs> do it off screen. Take, take it. Take it off camera. Take it off. <laughs> off <laughs> yeah, screen. Take it off screen. Yeah. Um, um, I kept saying to him stuff like, "When Theo goes down, I'm like, oh, that he looks like, that really looks bad. bad," and Will just kind of laughs, and I'm like, "No, I'm I'm being serious." Yeah, I know. And I he know. goes, oh, "I didn't hear what you said." Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> this yeah. happens so many times. Even Chip, Chip I know, yeah, it's funny, it's funny. But um, yeah, second half starts and I guess, yeah, I guess, oh, they made, made, made a little subs, right? And because Billy was asking, right? He was like, do I- do Start with the strongest strong team, team. Or do I start like rotate minutes, give everyone minutes and stuff, and then go stronger team. But I, I didn't know what we agreed on. Neither did I. So now I'm sat on the <laughs> bench and I'm like, obviously it's really hard for everyone to check. Cause I know sometimes we had 12 players on there to bring one off. I'm like, I don't want to just walk on the pitch here and assume I'm on. And then like, he's about to kick off. And I was like, Billy, am I on? He's like, yeah, yeah, go on. So I'm like, shit, man, trying to run in position. Um, but then Manny comes on. Yeah, so this is like two minutes in. Yeah. So he plays me in. Yeah. So this one, like, firstly, sent Will Shops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he could have passed the Deji there. He could have, yeah, he could have. But he hadn't scored then, right? No, he hadn't scored. You always want to score. Oh, yeah, no, fully. I'm not saying he should have passed the Deji. I'm just saying, like... He could have, yeah. He could have. Yeah. At that point, you can't say to him, like, you're a tryhard, you should have passed the Deji. No, no, he no. ain't got a goal. No, same th also, same thing as, as Vez. Like, it's not even, like... It's, it's just two things. Either you shoot and you score, or you pass, right? Yeah. And you shot and you scored. So, like, you can't say that, like, you should have passed to someone when you scored. He's also put in a shift there. Yeah, Like, yeah, yeah. he's run all that way. Yeah. He's played it to me. Yeah. And then he's carried on running. Even still, look at that. Like, he's like. 10 yards away. He's like, yeah, you, you, you can shoot from there. And also, yeah. Wait, that was 47th minute. And then this That's is super early. So we scored two real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Mad. That's why I was like, uh, and I was like, I, I'd put, I got into Vic's position then as well. And Vic was like, oh, I don't, know, I don't want to come off until we have a, a lead. And I was like, Rob, in your position, two minutes, we scored two goals. <laughs> well, four minutes. And we yeah, look, look at where I'm pulling off these defenders, man. <laughs> but yeah, I do this nothing. I tried to play Deji in. Yeah. And he just <laughs> yeah. Look, 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 I win the ball here. Yeah, that was good. Look, this no, no, pass wasn't great. Pass wasn't, wasn't great. great. Yeah, it wasn't but great. it set me up. Oh, yeah. yeah, set me up. Gideon just running at me. Yeah. <laughs> Cold. See I here. Wait, pause it here. Pause it here, Nick. Look. So I run. I'm offside. Look, and I run back on to stay on side. But I look how much I run to stay on side. Okay. I'm watching you. <laughs> I wow, all that, the way you, back. You ran, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. I, was in that, I, I moved back. Yeah, I moved way too far outside. Cause I was like, I was watching his back. I was like, if I had goal hung there, I could have, I could have tapped that in. I could have gone for the goal. But that shows you how much of a player Manny is, and how much I am not. Well, again, it what's so I take this shot and XQC. Okay, first of all, the last goal. Yeah. What was the last goal that just went in Manny's? Yeah. Maybe he could have done better with it, but I mean, ultimately, again, Manny is twelve yards out. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. 
Then the next goal, um, he could have done better with this, but I do also understand it bounced in front of him. It is. Did Gideon say anything as he went past? No, but I just saw him sprinting at me. So I was like, okay. Yeah, it wasn't great for actually to see it, you know, but. It wasn't great. But also, what's Manny meant yeah, to do? I don't, I don't you can't know call him a tryhard there. <laughs> no, you just He's, can't. Yeah, just tapped it in. Is he meant to take it around the keeper and then wait for someone? Yeah. <laughs> Gideon sprints back at me again. But yeah, we wow. scored there. Went 4-2 up. I think then it goes it goes 4-3. Four, four, yeah. And that here. was JJ's own goal. Is it the own goal? No, I think... Is this the penalty? Okay. Which highlights anyway? So Chris takes him on. Yeah. Harry just takes him down. Yeah, he does, yeah. Gets a penalty. Yeah. And speed, by the way. This is another one. Speed... Was actually really good, bro. He's learned so much. He's like apart from shooting. Yeah, well, but he's still. But also, he, like I would say, JJ's best performance in the game was when he just he just kept one up in speed. Like he just blocked speed, or, yeah. or then Freezy would make an interception on speed, or all this stuff. Like, like and whenever it was speed, like our defense was just sick, and JJ was sick. The penalty was bad though. Will owes me twenty quid for this. Well, you are you guys are. He's he came over to me. He went. I bet you he scores. Yeah, we'll yeah. put twenty quid on it. Nice. And I went. Well, that's that doesn't seem fair. Like. <laughs> It's the odds don't stack up. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. So I went, give me two to one odds, and he went, all right. You give me ten quid if he if he miss yeah. if he scores, yeah. And if he doesn't score, I'll give you twenty. Okay, nice, nice. I actually really enjoyed this because uh, they brought speed off the bench, right? So I was like, I get the a whole, nice little break here. Whole crowd. I don't know if you could hear on the pitch, but speed, speed. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Well, I saw everyone behind the goal. They stand up in a second, right? Is it here? Or are they already stood up? Yeah. The whole, yeah. the whole stadium was on their feet at this moment. And then it was just the worst penalty That's of sick. all time. That's sick. Wait, is this Will's video right now? Yeah. Okay, bless, bless. It was just such a bad penalty. Yeah, it was. And I felt so bad for him because I know he's he's done so many um, like shots and stuff. Yeah. from Well, he's done so many penalties. Yeah, yeah. And he always goes bottom left. Yeah. I even said to Will, I went, he's going to hit it bottom left. Mm -hmm. He just didn't hit it well. He got, the nerves got to him. It's hard though. Even even like even someone who's got as much charisma and like confidence as speed, he's still playing sixty thousand for a penalty. Like you know, it's tough. It's oh tough. yeah, and it is one of those moments of like he same thing he had with Ronaldo. I always thought, oh, what happens when he meets Ronaldo? Yeah, is his you know whole suey thing of like, oh, I want to smell the goat. What does he smell yeah, like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that gone? What's he gonna do after it? And yeah. he still kept it up. Yeah. Once he scores. What's next? Yeah, I know. So I know. I'm actually kind of happy he didn't score for yeah. next year. Yeah, but no, I know for sure. It makes it... But also, by the way... He has to score Am I right in year? saying that, like... Obviously, you're not, you're not, you're not, you can't come off your line as a keeper, but, like, JJ's in the goal right now. Yeah. So if, he, could like, have the, he could have the back of his feet on the line instead yeah, of the Yeah, so if he saved... <laughs> if, say if he saved it, which he did anyway, but say, say the ball... It's just you know, it's a goal, isn't it? Like, he could save the goal, the ball, in his net Nah, because right he's still on the line. <laughs> he's in the goal. Go back one, Nick. <laughs> And then go back one. It's because there's a close-up of him. Look. Prince <laughs> is in the goal. Yeah, but I think that's so he can move forward a bit. Okay, I don't okay, know. okay. What, what could be next for Speed, though? Because he's he, he scored last year and it was offside. This year's missed a penalty. penalty. Is there next year else? he scores. Can score, anything yeah. else go wrong for him? Scoring. Could he block a goal? Is that a, like, accidentally? No, it would be missing an open goal. Oh, yeah. As in, like... Two yards out. A little tap in and he just misses the ball or something like that. Bro, but he, um, like, but yeah, when he was like running down the wing, he was unreal. He, he'd flick the ball up as well. He'd actually do some like actual nice skills and like he just felt really like. That was really another good. issue though with their team. They they really targeted speed, yeah, which yeah. fair enough. Yeah. I'm happy they did. But in terms of winning, yeah. when he was having such a bad day with shooting, yeah. he uh, they just kept passing to him. The Sue as well. The JJ's Instagram picture might be my favorite yeah, Instagram yeah. of all time. Yeah. It's him with speed on the floor, him suing, Kai in the background, and he just put me and my sons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's such a good picture. That's what I'm saying. Like, like even before the scoreline ended up being 8 5 and there's a goals and stuff, like, I was just so gassed that there were so many good moments happening. Um, that picture. Yeah, like like even JJ just his antics were just jokes. Like everyone was just making content. It was really funny. Yeah, like even Gideon picking the ball. That was still funny though. Oh yeah, like it's still good. It's still jokes. Um, and everyone just seemed like a good vibe. Even on the pitch, like you're just chatting to the other players, and everyone's just happy. You know, it's just except really... speed. Except speed. Yeah. Again, by the way, if they score that, it's four three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's closer again. Yeah. Max, Max Bosch, Bosch, great finish. Great goal. Oh, it still goes way. four three. Yeah, great goal. Yeah. 
He had the Uno Reverse as well, which is coming up. Yeah, but that's gone so viral, you know. I know. So viral. But that's why I love like I love when people bring something like that to like events like this. I think it actually went more viral because he didn't use a yellow reverse. Yeah, I did see people saying that. It pissed me off. I said, why did you not bring a yellow one? Like it makes so much more sense. In his video, you see his short, he had loads in his bag. Yeah. And I think none were yellow. Yeah, we had a we had interviews with JJ as well. This was sick. How we had like the whole Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Him being mic'd up. Oh no, that was awesome. It was awesome. So yeah, then that's four three. There was the, oh. Wasn't there one bit where JJ was mic'd up talking to the interviewer and they the ball someone passed the ball back to him? Yeah, it looks all oh, freeze yeah. And it, yeah. I think Freeze is like, bro, focus up, man. Like, <laughs> you don't well, yeah, get this, this bit, goal. this is the this is where it's cleared off the line. Oh yeah, freeze. So the speed has already missed the penalty. Yeah. And then don't know what JJ is. This is a foul, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a foul. <laughs> Goes down a bit dramatic, but Freezy, Freezy's got death threats. Yeah, but also Freezy's like, got death threats in his DMs, by the way. And the fact that it leads to our goal. Yeah, 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 yeah. He plays a ball Obviously, through. Obviously, Gideon and XUC could have done way better here. I mean, XUC could have picked it up, yeah. but Gideon did run into it. He, he did, yeah, he did. <laughs> that one, fair enough. That yeah. one was entirely both yeah, of their yeah, faults. Yeah, 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 yeah. By the way, oh, wait, flip back. I said this in my video as well, but by the way, see that ball that Manny plays? Go back, watch me duck. Right, it's not gonna hit me, bro. <laughs> in re- in real time, that ball—it's like a memory. It's a core memory for me. That ball, I was like so scared. Bro, I thought I'd take my head off. I was like, "Fuck me, man!" It's like- <laughs> See, look, but look again. This is another thing where you can say, "Oh, look how unfair it is." If Speed scores there, it's just him and yeah, Freezy yeah. on the line. It's four all, not yeah, five I three. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know, I know. But then, uh, yeah, yeah. Look, Speed scores that. Yeah. Four all done. And, and, and again, Freezy did really well there, but it wasn't even like he did anything unreal. It was just there. He was just a great there. positioning, to be fair. No, that, yeah, that was that was true. It's Gideon, the way Gideon just runs, though. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. He just runs into XQC. <laughs> <laughs> just, why does he keep going? But yeah, I don't think anyone explained the rules to XQC about picking it up. No, there's one time where he actually, yeah, there's one time where he Chris goes MD to pick one. it up. Yeah, and actually, it's coming up. I, th- I think he did the right thing though for not picking it up, right? Questionable. So this one, look, Jay just flapped at it. And then Max Fosh. See, this is where Manny and Toby. So Toby Toby is 100% trying to get Vic a goal. Yeah, but also, but here, Vic's offside. Yeah, the whole you time. can't say Manny did anything wrong here because no. Vic wasn't onside yeah, once. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, by the way, if, Manny, if Vic was onside, Manny would pass to him. I didn't know who yeah. would. I know he would. Although that was also his hat-trick goal. Yeah, but then, you know, he could have had another opportunity too. But yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, you just... <laughs> but yeah, Vic's offside this entire time. <laughs> yeah, poor guy, man. Even Manny could have been offside. Look, he's just, bro, he, he can't pass. To, it's so frustrating. <laughs> he can't pass to you there. Yeah. But again, XUC, don't think he did anything wrong there. No, I mean, it's just Manny from like eight yards. This one. Oh, yeah, yeah. The fact that this hit the post. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just not going speed way. I'm it's happy not. that hit the post, you know. <laughs> I don't want speed to score a goal like that. Oh, okay. You want it to be like a finish. If it was a penalty, if it's anything else, or like the the one where you got past it. Yeah, yeah. That one would have. I would have said, "Oh, JJ gave that to him." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, what happens here? Sixty fifth minute, six three. Kai. Kai. Oh, they scored here. I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the own goal. Yeah. So as much as you can talk about XDC, we have a. We had, we scored an own goal. And, and yeah, Our keeper it, rolled over the line. Into the net, yeah. And by the way, on the pitch, JJ just like no one was. He, JJ wasn't sure what was going on. They didn't. They did give it, but they didn't really they didn't like, make it clear. They didn't make a thing. Also, the ref was like he kept pointing towards the like when they, when you score a goal, the ref will point to the center spot. Yeah. But also, like I think none of not everyone knows what that means in the game, right? So I think JJ kept t- taking that as like, oh, I can kick it out. Because I think, I think JJ was like, okay, you keep pointing up there so if I can kick it out. And I'm like, no, JJ, it's a goal, man. It's a goal, it's a goal. I, I don't know if the whole ball's over the line. I don't know, but they, I don't know. Because that angle is really hard to tell. But I'm like, if I'm the ref, I'm giving that. I'm just, I'm just giving it, you know, I'm like, fuck it, man. That whole ball, you reckon? I don't know. It might be. I don't bro, know. Bro, bro, bro rolled back into the goal, man. He deserves, he deserves to concede it. <laughs> Chunks' his face is so yeah. good. He pulled the same one when he got his penalty taken away from him. Oh, man. At the uh, at soccer. Oh, yeah, the second yeah, one. yeah. Yeah, so 69th minute, 6-4. So this save, yeah, yeah, great save, great yeah, save from great JJ. Save. But if he didn't save it, bro, but I saw an angle that didn't get shown on the stream. It got shown in the stadium, and I swear the ball moves to the right. Oh, it definitely does. Yeah, like it's... he's hit it well. 
He's hit really well, man. Yeah, he's like, and it's Chris MD as well. Power on it. Yeah. You know, decent positioning, really. And JJ just jumps through it and gets it. There's also one where JJ tips it over the bar as well. That thought that, yeah, pretty, speed. Oh, being on the pitch, it just looked madder than it was, maybe. What was this one? So Ethan plays out to me. Um, Oh, that's Max Foster's tackle. Oh, nice, yeah. By the way, so Max- Actually, really hurt. Yeah, well, Ma- Ma- Max has said that he'd all game, he'd been trying to get a yellow card anyway. Then at half time, he said to the ref, can you give me a yellow card? Yeah. I'm trying to get one. And then the ref, he did, that's why he was going at you for no reason. Yeah. And then obviously, ref forgot, and Max said, no, do it now, you know. And then Yeah, Max was like, yellow card, yellow card. Yeah. He, yeah. he also performs it so well, you know, like you can do that, but also then just have the mannerisms to like, I don't know, he just, Ma- Ma- Max is sick. I sick thought creator. straight away, as soon as, he, as soon as he fouled me, I thought, this was so unmax for yeah. <laughs> something's up. Yeah. I mean, he's definitely doing something. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. The whole game, he's been so like pleasant. You know, he scored a goal. He's worked hard. <laughs> I just cropped and then he just <laughs> takes my yeah, leg yeah, out. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah, so we're six four up. Ten minutes left. Easy yeah. Ball. So this right, I refuse to believe that Vic. Wasn't what? trying to score <laughs> until. Oh no, because Vic did an interview, didn't he? He goes like, he's, he's like, like, oh, I saw Harry, I looked up, passed it over to him, which he did, to be fair. To be fair, Vic, this is good from Vic, because he did realize, okay, I can't score now, I'm going to pass it now. Yeah, oh yeah, fully, yeah. fully. It yeah. was a great, like, final thing. It's just, he was so clearly through. Yeah. It was, <laughs> and it, I think he just lost the ball under his feet. Yeah, 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 for sure, which is fine. But look, Harry, great finish. Great finish. Because also, if you notice, you look back around, you know, the whole game, a lot of people who took shots kept pinging it over because the ball did kind of like, even in, when we were warming up, the ball flies, you know. Um, Theo's shot, I think you hit one that was went quite high or went over as well. Um, and that then was Josh, was my left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Josh's final one as well, which we'll talk about later. Well, um, I went up to Josh there. Yeah. And grabbed him. I went, Josh, get the fuck up front. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, playing yeah, up yeah, front yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't care. Just go up. <laughs> also, you know, so you know, I took that shot, right? After the game, you're like, why did you take that shot? Yeah. There was a moment where Deji had a similar one. And I was like, mine was like so early on in the game. But I was like, if it was at the end, I would, I'm playing to Josh because Deji has the ball <laughs> and Josh is there. And everyone's like, Josh, Josh, Josh. And Deji just has like the worst shot of all time. There was a lot I was looking That's at. Great finish. I was looking at Deji so many times. Yeah. I was trying to get it through to him. And then towards the end, I was trying to get it. I was, I kept seeing Deji through. I went, I feel like I've tried too much for him. Yeah. I'm, I want Josh to score Yeah, now. yeah. But De- Deji, he's got such a weird shot. He like slices the ball all the time. Yeah. He's like, it always spins. Like, he just comes off him like this all the time. This podcast is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Profiling, surveillance, data harvesting. There are lots of things not to like about tech giants, but what can you actually do about it when you rely on so many of their products? Well, the good news is it doesn't take much for you to take a stand. For less than $7 per month, you can join me and fight back against big tech by using ExpressVPN. How do you think big tech companies make all their money anyways? Well, by tracking your searches, video history, and everything you click on, and then selling your personal data. ExpressVPN helps you anonymize much of your online presence by hiding your IP address, a unique identifier that every device has that allows big tech to match your activity back to you. That's why we both use ExpressVPN on all our devices to make it much more difficult for them to exploit our data for their own profits. And the best part is how easy it is to use the ExpressVPN app. I or Simon just tap one button on my phone or my computer or or either of our devices and that's all it takes to keep people out of our business. So if you don't like big tech tracking you and selling your personal data for profit, it's time to fight back. Visit expressvpn.com slash what's good podcast right now to protect your online freedom and privacy. That's expressvpn.com slash what's good podcast. Expressvpn.com slash what's good podcast. Let's go. I just have one question because there's just no say. Obviously, you've got number seven, MM7, one, two, three, big star. Yeah. Were there any reasons behind any other players' numbers? Uh, Jamie had zero, just to be. Like, they couldn't put Vic's number weird. on the, the board. One, two, three. So it's just one, two. So that's why it's also, <laughs> also. So much confusion. Mate, every, you know when we have, you have meals and someone orders something, no one knows what they got. That's what it felt like. Because the board would go up. And I'm like, like someone just like, someone <laughs> yeah. just look at your number, man. I, I, but my story on the number is I wanted number 13 and then number 17. Freeze had 17. Jack Septica had 13. And then I'm looking at the uh, team sheet and I'm like, oh, wait, why, wait. Jack Septica's on their team. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so I can get 13 again. And then Ginger has 13, man. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Obviously, there's no time to communicate all that, all that shit. I didn't even know they swapped either. But I'm like, um, God damn, man. Bye. I, what did I have in the end? Oh, 33. You want a, a secret story? Yeah. So Con. Oh yeah. Was meant to have a, a, a different kit number. Yeah. So he was the weight he was when we said he could play, he was eighty eight. Yeah. So we were gonna have eighty eight on his shirt. Someone in someone was like, Oh, 
That's a Nazi number. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> is it? Was Did John the one yeah, that said I, it? I, I think it is, yeah. It is. Yeah, yeah, so we had to change it and then he got his actual weight of like 86.8. Which is funny. That's way funnier anyway. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But we were just like, is that's that's mad that it's... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cause yeah, because it's the it's eighth, eighth, eighth letter, letter yeah. Letter, yeah. But right. none of, we literally, well, Harry said in the chat, he said, oh, put, eight, put 88 yeah. as his number because that's the weight he was. Yeah. And we also thought there was an underlying Harryness of like, bingo, two fat ladies, 88. Oh, okay, okay. And then, yeah, someone just goes, oh, we should be careful because that's Hitler's number. Yeah. <laughs> we went, what? <laughs> well, it's just, yeah, you, 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 don't, you don't know. There's so many. Yeah, so there's a big for. panic and he had to get his number changed last minute. Yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. Because he actually had it printed. He was originally on our team and then mm -hmm. he went over to theirs. So he got a new number yeah, for that. Yeah. yeah, so seven, four. Look, speed, just like, he just, that like that awesome. is sick. Yeah, it was awesome. We got an assist here as well. Harry definitely tried to take him out. He, by the way, go back. Even JJ, compare JJ to XVC here. JJ's more right than XVC ever was. JJ was so, <laughs> he was touching <laughs> he, the post. Holding yeah. the post. And he doesn't come out at all. No. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't think, I don't think there was much of a difference in the Not keepers. much. From this, from that position where, where Nico was, I think if, and any player well, on either Ethan's, side of the team. Ethan's finish, by the way, is yeah. from about there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. XTC is further in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, if you're in that position, I think that's, I think, that's, I think Billy was saying at half time, it's like, just, you just need to get there, by the way. If you want to like win the game, just get to that position and just shoot. Cause yeah. like, you know, both teams are going to have that uh, opportunity. So everyone kept telling me at half time, it's like, can you just shoot? Can you just score <laughs> yeah, some goals? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm trying, but I just end up at the halfway line with the ball. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to, yeah. yeah. I keep seeing the runners. <laughs> the runners. But Deji, Deji kept saying like, what do I do? I mean, just, <laughs> just run, but make sure you're on side. There's one point in here, and I think it's on the highlights. So I'll show you when, when we get to it. It's jokes, man. That's I'll, sick. I'll show you. That the, yeah, that's like the, uh, the La Liga camera. Yeah, that looks like a video. That's amazing. It's so sick, man. Yeah. Shout out after party. They actually smashed the whole thing. They place. smashed it with Every, the drone shots as well. Yeah, yeah. And Vezina's like slide. Yeah. They just captured that so well. It's like the Mbappe. Like we go back to the first charity match and... I know it is very different. Like yeah. the levels are completely different. Yeah, but yeah. Even the coverage. Yeah. The, yeah. the first charity match, they don't even catch one of the goals. <laughs> yeah, the halfway yeah, yeah, line yeah, goal. Yeah, don't get it. From a from a uh, stand perspective as well, like the organisation of getting to the stadium, getting in the stadium, it was but, uh, yeah. It was so yeah, easy. So, well, you were in f friends and family bit though. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. I don't know if you can really talk. <laughs> <laughs> Hospitality access. So wait, go back. So who? That's Chris. Yeah. So Chris gets blocked. Yeah. Manny does that. Yeah. And then here, so I don't know who's, I don't know if he did right or yeah, not. Yeah, but I, I, I'm like- Because he basically got told before, don't use the ball, don't pick up the ball if your player passed, yeah, touched yeah, it last. Yeah. So I do get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's right to hesitate. And he still kicked it away, yeah, which yeah, is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I did say to Manny, I was like, I get that there was no one with you, but Manny's good enough. He could have controlled the ball. And then just, <laughs> true, true. And JJ stitched me up here. I passed to him. Oh, yeah. He got my stats down. Look, bottles it. Yeah. <laughs> and then that. You can't. Yeah. And then you can't blame XQC here. No, no, you can't. You can't. You can't. Tariq just scraps it. He's, by the way, Tariq was really good. Really good. Really good. You know, really surprised me, actually. Mr. B said on the on the coach, we were all like, ah, oh, Jimmy, are you going to score? He went, oh, me? No. But I'm not leaving until Tariq scores. Yeah. He was like, hey, this guy's been training for yeah, this. Yeah, but he said he'd like be at the, wherever they are at home and just see him outside doing drills. Yeah. Like shooting and stuff. Two, sick. two times a day. Yeah, unreal. Um, so I want to say- yeah, Will just kicks so it I, into chunks. I, obviously, I come on and I usually, last year I just played up front. Uh, by the way, I played 45 minutes this year and last year I played 23. And actually, bro, I could run more. I was gassed. I was like, bro, I actually really enjoyed like running around, around this game. Oh, but, you're going to see the first, you're going to see the GoPro angle of this. Carry on. Yeah, so um, they go like so. I'm I'm always on front, up front right, because I can't I can't really track back. But then then, um, then like, our oh, Calix leaves at eight minutes, right? So I'll run around, put it back on. So I'm back on the pitch, and I'm like, where, where am I playing? He's like centre mid. I'm like, oh, oh god, there we go. And, but actually, I was trying to track back as much as I can, and I got you <laughs> see, I got a few challenges. Yeah. So I was gas. Actually, did more than that last year. Um, but then I'll go on. Let's see this. There we go. <laughs> Chunks drives to get I mean, away. he should have kicked it to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, it just looks so cool. It looks so sick. Yeah, so what was I saying? So I was, um, yeah, so that was centre mid. And then 
I'm like tracking back and stuff. And then, but then there's like a gap because I think it's really hard, by the way, to, for everyone to track where they're playing. Because someone will, for example, we're playing three at the back at one point. Yeah. Like, and Jamie comes on. I'm like, oh, are you playing like centre back or right back? He's like, oh, centre back. I'm like, okay, but it's back three. So like, da, da, da. so it's really hard, isn't it? It's like who you're swapping with. Um, so I come on midfield, and then there's like there's no one right wing. So at some point, I think I swap with Freezy. So Freezy's like, oh, swap with me. So I go centre back in the back three, and this is when JJ's not in goal. So I'm like, bro, you've got me centre back <laughs> with no goalkeeper. So I'm yeah. knackered. The fact that, by the way, that's our goalkeeper. Though. Yeah, yeah. That's what that's what JJ was saying. Is like, I think he was saying because we asked him, didn't we? Like, did you or you asked him, did you mean to score that own goal? He's like, no, on my life, I did yeah. not mean to do that. But I was trying to come out the goal to either try and score or do something fun or to let them score a little bit as well. And well, Chris, just, Chris was the only person that had a shot. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He, he took like a half volley and missed it. Yeah, and even when they got the ball and JJ was up, I'm like, obviously centre back at this point, so I'm like panicking. So I just keep running like to Nico, and I'm like. No, I'm glad no one's shooting here. But there's one point where Nico's about to score. I take the ball off him. He's like, he goes, he just goes, oh. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like a joke. <laughs> and after the game, he's like, you, oh, oh, you bastard. Um, to that, Joel. But yeah, man, it was just here. Yeah, this is where I got fouled. <laughs> <laughs> he just fully just no. So there's a bit where Chris gets the ball. Um, there's a photo of it as well. It's really funny. Deji goes to tackle him. I go to tackle him. Chris just does us both. And then I turn around, starts to run back. And Deji just grabs me. Got it. Not now, but if you're watching, you want to see this funny moment. Go onto the full stream. He grabs hold of me. And I start running back. And he keeps hold of me. <laughs> I'm like, Deji, man, what? He's like, oh, I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> I'm like, for a while, he's you, like tackling me off the ball. I was never going to catch Chris, catch Chris anyway, but it's Jones. That free kick, by the way. Yeah. That... Uh, you just showed from Will's angle. Yeah. I wish it was so close. If you can find that uh, on the stream. The free kick from the Where Will foul. fouled me, yeah. So I tried. I was In my head, part of me thought, I'm 40 yards out. Maybe just take a shot yeah, for yeah. a free kick. But I saw Josh running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just wanted him to score so bad. Like, he's now got the speed story. Yeah, he does. He does. Like he, him and speed both have to score next year. He, he, Josh's, um, Josh's actual shot is not on the highlights. It's on the full game, though. But it's where it comes through. He's literally just got to put it on target. And he skies he it. He tells it. Yeah. And, I'm like, and I, I, obviously, it's, it, it's funny. But also, he's fuming. His reaction is jokes. But I'm like, I hate the fact that I know now that he's going to be the entire year just thinking about that moment. <laughs> and watch it back and think, man, all I had to do is. But then he actually had a header, which is in the highlights. He just let us run. That's a pretty good header. He did the um, tantrum, Let's see. He did the speed style tantrum jump when he missed as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah well, what's yeah. this one? So this is where the ball like flies over. Oh, yeah. He actually did. A, ball comes in, I think, here. Yeah. And he it's not a bad header. header. It's, it's not, not a bad header. It's not a bad header at all, yeah. Just and then Deji, I don't know what Deji's doing. <laughs> but then JJ hits a left foot shot, which. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> It would have to do. I think he got a bit scared there. It was a challenge on the way. He should have put it onto his right and yeah, then shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I will say, from my perspective, it's really hard to like understand because when you said that after the game, like, why did you shoot there? I was like, I, I thought I was closer than I was. You look <laughs> at the football stats and there's, and miles out. Yeah. But when you're on the pitch, obviously you'll have more experience than a lot of the boys. But like, it's just you. You feel like you're closer to everything than you are. And like, you know, there's one point moment where I just I just boot the ball at field, like just to clear it. And I'm like, I just pass to someone. Like you just get in the depth perception is so hard. Also, I still want to find that video where you just you, you just show me. I, you need to teach me how to shoot. <laughs> Every shot I take is just like a like a little boop. Like, like I can't, I'm trying yeah, to like I'm trying to destroy pass. it. I'm trying to destroy the ball and it just goes poop. Like, yeah. This is so. This is obviously 83rd minute. It's so close for Josh. Oh, they don't even show I was, it. I was yelling shoot from the sidelines. It's so close. Ah, uh, I really wanted Josh to score. Oh, that that ball there. Yeah, you don't yeah, shoot. Yeah, you got you, got you. See well, let, see if you can find the Josh shot. It must be a little bit. It's yeah, it's towards the end. It's very close to the end. Yeah. Because I lay off to him on the left. Everyone on the bench was just shouting, "Josh or speed!" Like <laughs> pass to Josh or pass to speed. This, Wait, by the way, cold. I think it's a pen. It's outside the area. Is it actually? Yeah, the contact was outside. Oh, okay. From the other angle, it looks like from in real time. That's outside. From the real time, it looks like when Speed's leg goes there, that he's taking the leg the entire time. I mean, they hasn't. could have given it. A yeah, of course. Yeah, no, it's, just, it's a charity match. No, I know, I know. Because even um, what was that? I like you were celebrating, didn't it? Oh, Tariq could have scored. Tariq that. could have scored that. Yeah, it should have. No, really. the one before. What what led to the corner? I had a bet that you were going to shoot from a corner. <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh yeah, that touch was awful. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I did shoot from a corner. The the part, no, the, the second one. Second corner. Yeah. Second corner I took because the first one and the third one I like stabbed, but the second one I curled because I thought. And XQC, by the way, came out and claimed it. Yeah, nice. Shout out to him. No, this isn't it's it. Nice, but nice touch though. Unreal. It was touch. a great touch. He tried something. It's um, it's a little bit further. What do you reckon the odds of XQC coming back next year are? 
I would love him to. I think he enjoyed it as well. He said he was going to train now. Yeah, I think as long as he doesn't, as long as he doesn't let a lot of the what people are saying get to him, I think it'll be fine. I think it's coming up here, so the ball comes. No, no, it's not that. No, he tries playing in Vic. <laughs> because uh, it's just after. It's when I, I have the ball around the halfway line. Yeah, just keep going now. Keep going, keep flicking through this, because it's, it's, near, it's near his header as well, because it was right, you know, injury time. I also didn't want, didn't want the game to end, you know. Yeah, like, I really wanted so to carry fun. on. Yeah, I'm like, this is so much fun, man. I kind of wanted, like, I want it to end on a goal. Yeah, because I think last year when I was playing, I was kind of like, I, I, I don't want to be on, because I don't want to be a burden to the team. But also, when I'm on, I'm like, I'm knackered. But I actually... That shot. <laughs> yeah. Firstly, that was, like... You could play Tariq in there. But again, when you're in that moment, you think that you're just more capable than you are. You yeah. think like, oh, top bins or I'm close or, you know, but you just, you realize that you actually are shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that I thought, it, just do anything except what yeah, you just yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was the idea floated around of doing a, no matter the score, a penalty shootout after the game this year. I st do you think next year going forward, that'd be a good idea to get people a chance to score or what do you think? Nah, because <laughs> that where I tried kicking it through Chunks' legs there. I literally yelled at him and went, Panna! <laughs> nice, nice, <laughs> he just closed nice. his legs. Yeah, um, I think I love the idea for the the show, but I kind of think it's like the mood was done. If you know what I mean, like the game ended, everyone was like, "Yeah, cool." And also, when everyone hears that in like preseason, everyone's like, "Oh, it's too American, man!" Like you know, I think a lot of the British yeah. like football fans this, to be like, "This one, it's just Look, one." Yeah, comes out wide. Oh, hey. yeah. Yeah, okay, that's the one. Oh, I thought, okay, yeah, got you, got you, got you. Yeah. <laughs> Go back again. In my head, I remember it so differently. I think that's because I was stood with a different angle. To be fair, I should have played it further forward. But oh, all you have to do is keep it down. On target, I think that goes yeah. in. I think that does go in. But you know what? Actually, hold on. I do think as well, I don't know. The ball does ping off, but he had, he had a few shots before that. Yeah, man. Nice little pass. Yeah. Oh, oh man. But, yeah, then, but then again, it just gives him more hunger for next time. True. You know? And it means he gets to play up front next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. this Everyone time scored. it was like his right mid, but... Yeah. 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 That was a weird tantrum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's hard because also you have to like... He's like, how do I get across to everyone in the field or everyone in the stadium? How bad I am? I know they am right now. <laughs> it's, like, it's hard to like communicate to everyone. But oh, what a sick game, man. But yeah, I, I was like, I, like, I could have kept going as well. I was like really gassed. It makes me more excited for next year because I actually want to like, before this game, after last year, I was like, I want to train and get more fit. I've done, I've lost a lot of weight, but I still could go further. But now I'm like, actually, I actually had a good game here. I, I was happy with how I did. So I'm like, by, by next time, you know, I want to not only like be able to play again, but also like actually play well. <laughs> that yeah, one. that was the one. Okay, right, so so look, that look, ball. 98th minute, look, 98th minute, we're all like, Josh, Josh, Josh. And Deji just... I actually scuffed that pass, you know. I was you meant to get, far, it right? was meant to be to the far one, but I scuffed it. And then he just fucking shoots in there. That's where I wouldn't have shot, you know, because I was like, Josh, man. But also, when the, you're more collected on the on the ball. But when like when I'm there or plays like me, I'm like, bro, you time goes so fast. <laughs> it's like you gotta you make a short decision. There was one point on, on Fotmob, I got hundred percent long ball accuracy. Uh, I had the ball right uh, the, the, like, in right back position. I'm going to clear up the game of the, of the, of the field. I just whack it at uh, Kastanat. I just to win the guy. He literally wind him, man. <laughs> I felt so bad. I'd boot him. I watch um, challenge. Would JJ play in goal next year if he's not? So we actually said this in the chat. We were kind of like, we said to JJ, obviously, the reason he's playing there is because of the fight. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he said, I actually loved it. Yeah. It's so much harder than he thought, but he was like, I actually really liked it. And it was very entertaining. I think it was so entertaining because he's like, it, it's... Um, Again, obviously JJ JJ, but he, he seems like more of a focal person as well when he's in goal. Yeah, well, it's because like, he can be mic'd up. Yeah, like, yeah. He can't be mic'd up if he's centre mid. No, no. He also goes missing a lot in midfield because yeah. he's kind of like, he's not an on the ball player. Yeah. Whereas in goal, he can, you know, he can. Yeah, but also think about it as well. Any stuff. chance any chance that the other team get on him, it's like. He's involved. He's in the game. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, you know, speed, he, can, he, can, he can concede against speed or he can score on goal or he can make a save. Like everything's like just. So he, well, he actually said. Um, he was like, I'm down. Yeah. Don't know if I will, but he said he is down. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know if it will happen, but um, their team of, not all of them, some people on their side have gone in on XQC. Yeah. Which again, feel awful. Yeah. Because it is a charity event and I don't think he was. Well, it's like, I mean, yeah, also, so you have to think about this as well. When, when people are getting picked for these games, it, it is tough because it's like, you want, okay, first of all, you want like the biggest stars to be in there in the world. 
And like, if you want to go to America, and like, you, you're gonna get people who aren't like unreal at football, but it also makes it better because it's like seeing how they play. It's yeah. funny. If they get a goal, it's awesome. It's, and it's all good. Then you also you got to balance like, say like say, say people like like me and like I say Manny and that. It's like also people who are, like close to the the US as well. So it's like sidemen. It's just hard to like get everyone in, but then also everyone who's up for it and everyone. It's just well, the people who say right, the people who say that that we should have better goalkeepers. If you're saying that, or better defenders, yeah. Speed can't play. Yeah, yeah. Because then we have to up the level of everyone. Yeah. And it's just a normal football match. Yeah. And speed is speed is good. Yeah. He's improved a lot. But is he on like Chris Endy's level? Yeah. He's not. Yeah. So he I, can't I, play anymore. But he's the main person in these matches. Yeah. My, my honest assessment is that I think the game could have gone any other, any way, obviously. I was having 8-5 in the end. There's a lot of moments that if... I know you can say it after the fact, but if some small aspect was different, you know, like, like, like Freeze wasn't there for the speed part, but obviously he was there, which is good playing, but I'll, like good positioning and stuff. But I also think that just like anything could happen. But also I think, I think the YouTube All-Stars, if they kind of like coordinated a bit better when JJ was not in goal, they could have scored. Like they really had, we had three at the back, which included me with no goalkeeper. Like you can score there. You really oh, can yeah. score there, man. Like, you know. Didn't you have one year where the defenses were so good? Yeah, and we lost two nil. Yeah, it was the a first goal was like game. first goal was like six minutes in, and the last goal was like eighty eighth minute. Also, shout out um, Stephen tries and, and so Spencer good. Owen. They're both, but even together, they're so good, right? Yeah, it just, it just so elevates it. Everyone I spoke to who watched the game afterwards was like, "Oh, it was so entertaining just to watch because like the commentary was really good." It's because Spencer has that like air of professionalism. Yeah, yeah, but also isn't too professional that he's still funny. Yeah, like there's one where it was like. Um, <laughs> he goes, oh, Vic's got the ball. Is it deja vu or deja vu? And like, that's actually really smart. That's like a really nice thing to get off the, off the top of your head. <laughs> Speed, quick as a flash. Although I shouldn't say flash, actually. <laughs> oh, because yeah. <laughs> Stephen Trout's on real, man. There's just so many. Yeah, Harry pictured his mother's face in the top corner and leathered it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Nice, what, what, they, what a day. They're so good. Day. And was, after the game, it was nice to be able to actually do the trophy ceremony. Yeah, people tried. They people tried, tried to invade, yeah. but they yeah. all got shut down quickly. They got shut down, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, the, the ceremony was sick. It was sick. Like the was. blimp behind yeah, us, yeah. the the, the, fire, the pyrotechnics yeah, and yeah, yeah. everything. And then you guys all ended up in the... Bro, because I, I was like, I was desperate to get in. Then I was like, I'm, I'm walking past it. I'm like, now nah, I'm a bit scared to finally do it. But I was like, we were like, oh, if you do it, I'll do it. And we all got in. And then... Um, but then everyone who kept coming in to try it, because we were in a hot one when everyone came coming in, we're like, now nah, you got to go do your, um, you got to go cold first. Oh, was time. there a hot and a cold one? Yeah, cold, uh, hot. So we kept okay. going cold. I they were both just plunge pools. No, no, nah, cold into the hot and then into the cold. But then everyone kept coming into the warm. We're like, no, 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 you got to earn it. You got to go into the cold <laughs> to get into here. But that was, that, but that was so sick, by the way, because also like, um, you know, obviously you're not going to wash yourself as much, but it's like it's a free shower, that makes sense. Like, yeah. Get in there, shower off, uh, towel off and back upstairs again. That's what I was tempted. I was tempted to join you guys, but they yeah. said, oh, does anyone want to go upstairs now? And I was, just I was take like, a chance. Yeah. I was like, yeah, please yeah. just, yeah. I was so hungry as well. Yeah, yeah. I ate a little bit of yogurt and some fruit before nice. the match. That was it. Yeah. Did you have sides? I had sides Bang and it was man. good. So good, man. It was so good. good. Although, I don't want to snitch on him here. I heard Freezy had some sides. Ooh. Wow. Which I don't know if that fits the 75 hard. Well, you, in the 75 <laughs> hard, you have your own diet, right? Yeah. So you can stick to it. He might, that might not have been allowed in his diet, but I would also, this is where the whole thing that we had last year comes into, or last, last week, sorry, the whole debate, is that like, you just played, like, he played like 80 minutes or something. You can have some size. You just burnt yeah. off the entire entirety of what you're going to eat. I also hate, you know, when you do like a really big workout like that, you're like, oh, I want, I want to eat now and enjoy myself. You eat and you're like, oh, I'm full. Like, I, I can never eat like what <laughs> I think I want to mentally because I'm like, I'm actually full now. I got 4,000 calories that day. I was gassed. Jeez. I was gassed, man. My strain was like 20. Burnt? Uh, yeah, overall. Oh, okay. I thought you meant you ate. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> burnt, like, burnt, yeah. So why is that? <laughs> burnt, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was all sick. Went up, had but sides, had the new XIX drink. Being on the pitch, because we could feel the flames. In oh, so oh, hot. Yeah, so yeah hot, you can feel them. Because you so really warm. feel them. You know, have you, ever, have you ever gone to a barber and they do your ears with the flame? It felt like that on the back of your head. Like you just feel a quick like, ooh. Mate, also it's worse as well um, on stage because they're so close to you. True, I can I'm, imagine. I'm, I'm like fucking. Uh, also, Mr. Beast, by the way, he landed that morning and then flew that night. He Unreal. also uh, wasn't going to come to the meal beforehand because yeah. yeah. he was trying to go to the gym. Yeah. And we all said, bro, don't. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. you're about to go play in 38 <laughs> yeah, degrees yeah. weather. Yeah. Because for anyone who doesn't know, by the way, that stadium is designed to keep heat in. So it's 33 degrees on the day, mm -hmm. but they say that that stadium can get up to five degrees hotter. It yeah. was it that's why I boiling. felt for you guys even more so in that first five minutes where you get battered I was like not only have you got to like push him <laughs> here it's hot yeah 
it's not one of those things where it's like, oh, just put put a bit more effort in. It's like, oh, bro, I can't yeah, run. and also when the when the ball this is why I was, I was enjoying football as by the way. Because when when I do like treadmill running, so I get so bored. I get so bored mm-hmm. just sitting there running. But when it's like when you're running to make a challenge, that like you have to run. So it's like, yeah. and I love that. I like I love putting like a little bit of like an element of like enjoyment into it. So that's why I, hopefully I can try and play more sports this year. That's why I love golf because it's like you can go walk around, burn those calories, but also you're doing something. You're not feeling like you're just walking around the forest yeah. for ten hours, which is actually not boring. But you know, um, treadmill is. So I think football is obviously you have like a different stamina for it mm-hmm. yeah. but the second the ball's at your feet i swear you get this extra no, you do, burst yeah. or you gotta go and intercept someone like you just forget yeah. about anything else um but also i, I for me i was like because someone said something in this game like just choose when when to run i was like oh yeah that's so true i think last time i was just trying to run as much as i can yeah but you can just have you can just take, a, take, a, take two minutes if you want to or like 30 seconds air rack might be the fittest man not sexually <laughs> fittest man i've ever seen yeah. in my life well, he, he just ran and yeah. ran and ran. And then at halftime, he said, he's like, oh, what do I do? Like, I'm, I'm going to try and get the ball to you, but what do I do? Yeah. And I said, honestly, just be a nuisance. Just yeah, chase yeah. everyone everywhere. And he went, I can do that. Yeah, clear the I ball. can't kick the ball, but... Yeah, but you can be there. You know, yeah. be there, yeah. That's, that's Ginger as well. Ginger's like biggest like pro, in my opinion. He was, just, he was always... When, he, when yeah. you needed him, he was there, you know. Um, you know. But yeah, it, uh, Eric was sick, man. He... Um, he... Probably put, put a shift in, man. And yeah, well, we no, I was gonna say, no, him oh. and Mr. Beast doing the challenge, aren't they? Yeah. And, and they, were both, they were both in the dressing room saying they'd not stopped yet. They'd done every day. And they were saying- even they, were on both, the, they both looked like- They did, yeah. Even on the raft, he was saying he was working out on the raft, right? Yeah, that's what Landon said. <laughs> yeah, mental. Well, yeah, we raised 2.425 million it's pounds, crazy. which is crazy. insane. And and officially more, not to undermine this, I didn't mean to do that, but also more live viewers than last time. We actually didn't. No, you did. We didn't. Did you not? No. We said we did, but we didn't. I don't know who said we did, but someone said, oh, we hit this. And then Harry, I don't know. This might not be true, but Harry put in the chat, we had 15,000 viewers less than oh. last time's peak. Oh, okay. But you had 25,000 people more watching live in the stadium. So you had 10,000 more people. True. And that's also only on YouTube. We also streamed it on oh, Kick. Kick. Yeah. So I have no idea. Okay, okay. So we definitely had more viewers this time, but... That number, okay. I don't think. Was well, I know they came in after the stadium and said that, but then like maybe when you look at the numbers. Well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Because I, someone else, someone told me specifically, they said you had 2.7 or I like 2.75 million. I heard this. And then, yeah. But know. regardless, if it was that close, it wasn't less, if that makes sense. It wasn't like, it wasn't like, oh, we, we were 600k under. Yeah. You know? Um, but no, it was a sick success, man. So much fun. And also, by the way, shout out to everyone involved in like setting this up. Shout out to everyone donating as well. That's actually unreal. Yeah, <laughs> I, did, it was, it was I did sick. see, I did see a lot of people after were like, bro, did you see that guy who donated like 250k? Yeah. I'm like, bro, it's Prime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the sick don called Prime. But it's, you know, shout out to Prime. Watching back the stream, though, there are so many 50 pound donations. Yeah, 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 and yeah, like, no. It's always there. It's just static. Yeah. You know? Which is sick. So yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. No, it's huge. It's huge. Well, that was a lot of talk about the charity match. Talking of sports, mm. you were a caddy for Cal yeah. Frazee well, yesterday. Yeah, woo! This podcast Kate, is coming out a little bit later, so obviously, you know, it's not Wednesday, it's coming out Friday. This is not, this is not the reason why. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I was, uh, yeah, caddying. Freezy. so I was watching the Irish Open at the weekend uh, with my mum and dad after the charity match, knackered, you know, just sat there, you know, vegetating. And Min Ruli was playing and he was like leading the Irish Open. He ended up coming seventh. And I was like, oh, this guy's so fun. It's so sick. Because he, he obviously, and I knew the event was coming up with Freezy. I've been watching him a little bit. Um, and then I was sent to my mom and dad like, oh, you know, Freezy's playing with this guy like, on Wednesday. And they're like, oh, cool, cool, cool. And then like Freezy messaged me on Monday. He's like, oh, by the way, I know this is like, like feel free to say no. I know this is super <laughs> long, but like, do you want to come caddy for me? And I was like, you know what? I was like, yeah. I was like, because also I was coming <laughs> podcast on Tuesday, but then we ended up doing it on Thursday. So I was like, either way, I'm, I'm in London. So I was like, yeah, bless, let's do it. Um, and the whole day I was like, oh, like, thanks for doing this. I'm like, bro, I love doing shit like this. Yeah, but there's two ways you could take that. Like one is, oh, do you want to come on a day out? And, yeah. You know, come have a, a cool, like a fun time. Yeah. The other is, do you want to be a caddy? Like you're going to come to this event, but you're not going to get to play. No, no, and well, you just not, you have to just watch me. And no, I, I'm <laughs> even more excited. I would, I, I would have. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely like would love to play. Everyone was like, "Oh, next year you should play." And Freeze was like, "We should get." He was like, "All the boys keep playing because like he'd be, he'd be, he'd be sick to have the troops there, <laughs> like in in a group." You know what I'm saying? That would be so cold. Um, so this is the yeah. So that was I was like, I'm, I'm watch. I love golf. I love Manuel Lee. I love watching it. So I was like, yeah, this is, I'm not going to say no to this. So I went there, but he was like, just so you know, you got to carry my bag the entire time through all these hills. I was like, yeah, I don't. I'm, it's free exercise for me. I'm taking that. Um, 
so bro by the way i get there pick his bag up um and i change so i had to walk really far from my car park to the actual club shop and i didn't know when we were actually teeing off so i didn't have time to go back to my car to, to put my collar shirt and my shoes on and stuff so i just bought them from the club shop then had my shoes and jumper to put in his bag i go to his bag and in the first two minutes i put my shoes and my um shirt in his bag zip his bag up and the zip breaks <laughs> and I, so in the first two minutes I've broken his bag like the worst caddy ever so I have to get a, a, a boogie back to my car drop all the stuff off get involved and then and then his bag was so like I'm like bro I'm actually glad I broke your bag I want you to get a new one it was so hard to carry the strap was so small um, but luckily he had two so I can wear it like a backpack but bro my shoulder now is absolutely in pain I'm actually battered right now um, but no, it was just, this was sick. So it's a pro am. So the way it works for those who, and I know not everyone cares about golf, but the way it works is you have one pro and then three amateurs. So in our group, the pro was Min Woo Lee. He came fifth in the US Open, seventh in the Irish Open. He's playing. This is a tournament that's on right now, by the way. So he hopefully does well this weekend. Um, you have one pro and three amateurs. The amateurs were Seb um, on golf, Max Fosh and Freezy. And what you do is you, everyone drives. You then take the best drive and then play that. So it's not scramble. So everyone drives. Scramble for the drive. Yeah. Okay. But Min Lee has to hit all his shots himself. He has to he has to always use his ball. So even if even if the amateurs decide to use Min Lee's ball position, you then still he has to, have to hit his own ball. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a pro. Um, so also if they he, all choose to use Freezy's drive. Yeah. Min Lee still hits his ball. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but also he tees off from the actual back back. We all tee. Well, everyone else tees off from the front. Um, in mate, what, the way he hits the ball is mental. Because obviously, Seb's. A I saw that video. Yeah, though. you hear it. Yeah. Seb's a three hand, uh, three handicap by the way. So he's three off scratch, which is very good. But even no offense to Seb, the level compared to him is meant is so unfathomable. So w- those three that are the yeah. amateurs. Yeah. What regulates an amateur? Because obviously. It's, it's, Seb's a th- uh, he's a three handicap, right? Yeah. Freezy's like 15, 16 It's or just something. anyone who's it, 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 anyone who's not on the tour. Okay. So, and I know Bale was playing with McElroy. So you, Bale obviously is like a sport, is athlete, but he's still amateur. You know, so anyone who's not on the tour pretty much. But okay. also most people are like, most people are like notorious. They don't like YouTube or some sort of celebrity to bring attention to the event. Um, you can't it, just go find like three mates who are just nutty at golf, but not pros. No, but also he still, have, he still have handicaps. So for example, Seb didn't get a shot on a lot of holes. But then Freezy and Max will get shots on a lot of holes. Uh, okay. Also, a- all the amateurs for the entire 18 can get one opportunity to ask Ming Lee to play their ball. Okay. And you still have your handicap. So, for example, there's one situation where it's a par five or, or par four, and, and Max Fosh essentially got on the green in one shot because he. He we used uh, he like, took his drive. Yeah, yeah. And then used drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and also you get no bogeys or pars, so you only count birdies. So you only got you only count a score if you got a birdie. So for example, uh that's why everyone's score was like minus thirty for the whole entire day, because you just you only count birdies. Yeah. Um and obviously Freeze had a lot of shots, so Freezer could have got like a four uh a, a four net three so he's got an eagle on a lot of holes and they him and max fosh played really well by the way but a lot of missed a lot of puts that were like just off the edge that would have been two under for the hole but ended up being one under um so no it's sick though and, and everyone combines the score so if you get a birdie Ming Lee gets a birdie uh Freeze Freeze, gets you, you count yeah. all oh, okay you know? so it, it was really fun man um but then Freeze is like oh i'm gonna get you to take a shot on one of these holes so I, I heard was like, about this yeah so i was like okay right okay i'm, I'm like okay fine but make sure it's a good one like, i want to do like a drive or something i don't want to like hit a bunker shot you know so um there's one moment where Freezer's like, oh, I'm going to get you to hit this next one. And then like he takes a shot and he was the last one to take it and everyone just starts walking forward. So I'm like, okay, I'm glad it's not here. And then he's like, oh, let's do, we'll do a par three. And I'm like, actually, I would have rather had like a shot from the fairway because my iron's been pretty good recently. But off the, off the tee, sometimes do what you do, it just goes forward. Yeah. And I'm like, all I want to do in this moment is just hit it, hit it high. I don't want to scuff it. So then um, Seb goes, all right, I'm going to do a TikTok or a video here now where we do a nearest to the pin challenge on his par three. Um, so Ming Lee takes his shot. It's like obviously next to the hole. And then he's like, oh, Randy, do you want to take a shot as well? I was like, yeah, okay, let's, let's, go, let's go for it then. So it's me, Max, Freezy, Ming Lee, Seb. Seb hitting these balls. Uh, and Freezy, by the way, has got the blades. I don't know if you know what they are. So you know our clubs, they have the little like back on them. Okay. So it has a back and like some weight to it and a little hole. You could probably put your, I could just show you guys now, but it's a freezer ones are just a blade. They're called blades. Okay. It's so much harder to hit, but they're all way more controlled if you're good at, it, good at the game. So I'm like, I don't even have my gloves. I've got freezers one. I haven't sh- hit a shot in like four days or all day. I'm like so nervous here, but also no one's hitting practice shots. Everyone's just going up and hitting the ball. So I'm like, okay, here we go. And I was, I was like, you know, what? just don't be nervous. I was like, just go up and hit the ball like you normally do. So I did that and I just go and hit it. And I felt all right in my stance and it just, 
scuffs. <laughs> I'm like, I hit it so low. I wish the video was out. It's, it'll be coming out soon on Sev's Sev TikTok or something on the channel. And it goes so low, but it goes fast, luckily. And because the course is so good, it hits the fairway. And by the way, the, the, the goal, the shot is up. The, the hole is up and there's a big, like, uh, divot. Yeah, huge divot, crater. And it just hits the fairway and just doesn't stop. And it just <laughs> rolls, rolls, rolls uphill, goes past the hole and like ends on the edge of the green. And everyone's like, oh my God, it's so sick. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I scuffed it, but at least it worked out well. But bro, I would have loved, because Freezy was also, because when we played last week with him, I kept my irons were unreal. So he was like, bro, I'd love you to take a shot now and just like, as a caddy, land it on um, near the hole. But you know, his jokes. Was man. it quite lighthearted in terms of like you being able to take a shot? Was yeah. it kind of like, me, oh, you yes. do what you want? Me, yes. But like- I know the, someone else could have. Yeah, there's one moment where um, Freezer's like, oh, mate, what are you going to play here? So Freezer goes, oh, well, let me, let me know what you should. It's like a heckler, but a nice one, a nice yeah. heckler. And Freezer's like, oh, you, you tell me what I should play. So he goes, oh, sandwich, I think. So Freezer gets to the sandwich and goes, gone then, you know? And then the guy was like, no, we can't allow any people in the crowd to take it for insurance reasons, which I guess makes sense, but it would have been jokes to see him, yeah. him do it. Yeah, I reckon anyone could have took a shot, really. I, I, yeah. I'll send to Freezy. I'm not, not going to play your shot. I can't play your shot. Also, the pressure's unreal. Yeah. Um, but also, shout out to Freezy because everyone's watching you. Yeah. Off the tee. I saw his Insta stories and I thought, this looks mm -hmm. like my worst nightmare. Yeah, yeah, awful. Like, and, I love golf, but fuck that. And also, yeah, and also, what is mental, by the way, is like, when me and Lee's teeing off, like, we're just stood in front of the ball. Like you have full faith, full faith. There's not even like, one doubt. Even the amount of people that are there, just <laughs> some of them aren't even looking. No, I don't. I'm thinking anyone who's not, yep. anyone who's in front of me. Yeah, you're in the danger zone. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it could be, it could be amazing. It could be over there. It could be completely yep. to the right. Yeah. So it was, re it was really like, and shout out to Freeze for doing it. And there's one point where he's in the in the bunker, and that was the worst for me because I was like, from a drive, okay, if you mess your drive up, it's like okay, it's fine, you know, whatever. But when you're in the bunker, obviously you can hit it short or you can hit it back in the bunker. I think more can go wrong in a bunker than just hitting it like off into the yeah. out of bounds, right? And then you've got people, people next, also you run next to them and they're, they're like, oh, good luck, mate, no pressure. And you're in the bunker. I'm like, oh my God, like unreal from Freezy. But this was sick. I would love, by the way, for us to do like a, a sideman, like golf tournament like this. Would where you it's make everyone stand behind the drivers though? Yeah, of course, in a yeah, in a not, YouTube one, yeah. Like no, but but it. even even these ones where free, like, we, cause this is gonna sound really weird. Where they are doesn't seem that intimidating. Um, when everyone was teeing off, but where Min Lee takes his from, that was really scary because he's back further, so there's way more. People. Yeah, but he's. I would trust him. Oh no, of course, way of course. More. But, but weird, weirdly, there's not one moment where I thought any of the boys playing were in danger. But maybe because Freezy is still leagues ahead of us. <laughs> but no, but the way it works was sick though, because I think maybe like the Simon could do one where it's like this. Because also everyone teed off same time, different hole. So our first hole was t hole four. Everyone goes to a different hole. Okay. So I think for like a like for like a YouTuber or Simon one, it could actually work really well because you could yeah. even get some like pros involved as well. Or like, um, I think it'd be. I think. We should do a side men, like the same way we've done the charity match. We should just do a golf tournament, but not, I don't think it should be pros. No, but I'm, I'm, it could be like, it could be like, for example, um, not pros, but you could do like a pro-am kind of format. We have yeah, someone like Seb like, or someone like yeah. Scratch, then three am actual amateurs. They got to all add up to roughly the same amount. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like if, if Seb's playing, he has to play with someone like he'll play with someone that's got like a handicap of like 40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. Freezy can go with someone that's, you yeah. know, around his level. But you could get people be. like, um, like I know Tews was there. You get Tews, because Tews is like a big golfer. Ben Foster could be like the, he could be the celeb of the program, if that makes sense. Yeah, although I feel like we got to carry on with our, the same way we did the charity match. It's just content creators. Okay, I know Ben yeah. is. No, no, true. Yeah, true, true. Although he, I don't know how good Ben is, but. He's pretty good. But like, are you talking like, five handicap you're talking 15 he could be like he could be the stem of that group if that makes sense okay you know kind of but, but either way just doing something like this would be sick yeah because also it's less like it's it's just like everyone kind of there's, a, there's a drinks everywhere everyone's having drinks down and on the side like people are watching it's having yeah. fun there's, there's food trucks and stuff it's just, it felt like a really sick vibe um it's just so much fun man it's actually, actually class it's just so funny just seeing seeing like you put seb with someone who's just Missing yeah. the ball every now and then. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'd be it's hilarious. Great content. You could put a camera on each hole if you wanted to and sift through everything. Um, loads of events you can do. I, I, you know, and again, I'm not trying to say like, like, oh, just do like, do, do football and do golf. But you mentioned darts as well. Just do yeah. more of these things like this are fun. And it doesn't have to be the level of the charity match. It could just be like a mini mid midsummer or mid break, you know, kind of event. But yeah, it's jokes, man. It's jokes. Yeah, the event looks sick. Yeah, yeah. But that's just fun. <laughs> Bro. It was really funny because I was um, obviously I was getting people taking photos of me, and then that actual caddy we were with, the caddy, he was like, 
who are you? Like, like <laughs> yeah. I've never seen someone take so many photos of the caddy before. <laughs> I mean, everyone was like, oh, Randy, you look like struggling, mate. I'm like, oh, I'm, actually, I'm actually feeling good. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's jokes, man. I just, I don't know why, just, the vibe was really fun. I think everyone- It's because it's sunny. Got, yeah, it was. Yeah. Like if that was, a, if that was like a midday, yeah. you know, like cloudy, maybe a little bit of rain. Yeah. Still would have been fun. Yeah. But everyone's in a good mood. Yeah, yeah. I think golf as well. I think I do. I do get why people think golf is really boring. But actually, we're going through that. It made me think. Like, actually, it's a lot more fun than people think. And also, I think you don't understand. I think golf's one of the sports where you don't understand how hard it is until you play yeah. a little bit. And then even more so, getting humbled. Like I'm watching Seb and then watching Minnelli. It's like these leagues, these leagues, leagues apart. Whereas when you watch on when you watch like Tag Odds on TV and you just put it next to the hole, it looks easy. Yeah. Um, well, it's the same with you know like obviously there's Seb. Yeah. There's Freezy. Yeah. There's me. Yeah, yeah. I, I can go to the driving range and look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as soon as it's on a course, it does, mm-hmm. it's completely different. Yeah. So and, everyone and, can go driving range. People that don't play. Yeah. And go. Yeah, golf's not that hard. Oh yeah, I play all the time. Play yeah. driving range. And he and, and he was picking his shots. So there was one moment where they were filming content for Minwoo Lee, and he was hitting a stinger, which is one of the ones that goes really yeah. low and rises. And he hit one, uh, and they were having like a really close angle camera shot. So he curled it too far to the right. So they're like, oh mate, can you do another one a bit more down the middle? Cause it just bent, bent a little bit to the right. He's like, yeah, sure, no worries. Hits it again, pretty much the same shot, but now more middle. So he, the <laughs> fact that you can pick a shot like that is a joke. The sound the ball makes is ridiculous as well. I was like, freeze. I was like, why do our shots not do that? <laughs> and it's, the ball, you can hear the ball whistle. It just make, doesn't make sense. And minimally, it's not, it's not like a big guy. He's like a pretty like n- nimble guy, but he's just, just technique. So, in speed, man. It's just yeah. so much speed behind it. Um, that's, that's the actual shot, yeah. Oh, look at it. <laughs> it's mental. It's unbelievable, man. And like, the amount of shots of he was in, he was in the oh. woods once, and he landed next to the hole. It's just literally mind blowing. Um, it's just so like, yeah, yeah. But, but like, it does it does look easy. It does look easy, but it's just like it's so hard. Like, it looks man. like oh, you know, he's just hit the ball. Yeah, yeah. He was sick though. He's he's like a really like fun guy. You know. Well, he's one of the people that he was the person that replied to Freezy's story about your story. about me. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. When they actually Freezy filmed the pro and said, oh, Mini Minute is getting good. Yeah. And he was like, yo, he's amazing for a beginner. <laughs> and it's because it wasn't me. I, I'm always surprised at how like professional like pros are, if that makes sense. Because I, I always think that obviously when they, he was just, so they, they play, say the tournaments, that, uh, is t- tournaments Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for the pro. They like practice round on Tuesday, pro on Wednesday. So he's practicing for his tournament, this 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 game here. Yeah. So he'll hit his uh, put up. Then his, him and his caddy will put some stuff around the green to do some more practices, they're reading the green, they're practicing for the next day. Um, but it's just interesting seeing his insight. Like he's just a normal guy who's just unreal at golf. So like he just has the same banter, has the same like, you know, he's walking around, chilling, you know, having eaten a banana. I don't know why. It's just like when you see someone who's like on that level just doing this. He also <laughs> when you see a massive celebrity eating a banana, you know, it's no, it's, it's like, weird. <laughs> you think there's more that like, you think there's more going into it than there actually is. He's just yeah. good at the game, you know. But also he had a bag of, of gloves. Swap his, swap his gloves every like three or four holes. He's like, I need the grip. So he's got a bag of literal gloves. And I'm, I'm here using mine for like seven months. Yeah. <laughs> and he's swapping his every few. He says sometimes every shot he'll swap. Mad. Does that mean you'll see Freezy on the next round of golf bring four sets of gloves? Yeah, <laughs> every shot. Yeah. Oh, this is an iron shot. Oh, let me get the other one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now it's jokes, it's jokes. I don't know, I'm probably cares, but that's <laughs> funny, that's fun. Well, we've been talking for a long time. Yeah, probably this one there, to be fair. Yeah. This is a chat match special, even though a bit late, but you know, it is what it is. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you next week for with a guest. Yes, we have big, a guest. Big guest next week. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. And peace. Peace, peace, peace. <laughs>